Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode of Darkest Dungeon 2. Today we're going to be playing a interesting team. I think we're going to be taking the Star of the Chosen uh, Infernal Flame because we have a Breacher Leper and I kind of want to take advantage of the combo generation. Uh, so that's kind of what we're going for here is just to have more. I mean, obviously, if it combos in the back row, it's not going to work very well for us. But assuming we don't have anything that can hit the back row, he can still do damage. Um, we have a Ritualist Occultist with Precision Striker going for this just to get the additional um, crit on his attacks. Like Sacrificial Stab now has a 20, what is that, 22 percent chance base. Uh, it goes up to 27 percent base, like chance to crit, which is pretty good. Uh, we have Virtuoso Jester. This is just for combo generation. I don't know if we're going to be doing solo finale. I should probably take those off, honestly. I don't think that's really something we're going to be leaning into. I'll probably end up doing something like this instead. Um, Echoing March giving us some options for the combo. And then we have an Orphan Runaway with On Guard, which basically means she's also a Survivor Runaway. Because it, besides the little bit of healing buff that it gives, uh, it's basically the same thing. I'm going to go ahead with this team. Let's roll into it. Uh, if you're here on Twitch chat, uh, we have one person that can be renamed. And if you are watching this on YouTube, you can sus uh, consider subscribing to the channel. It really helps out. That way you don't miss any videos. The time for denial. All right, let's get into it. Glad they're actively updating this game. Yep, the devs are still active. Um, I can confirm they're still active. I can confirm they're still working on things. I can't the confirm what no those things are or are not. You. As, as my NDA says, but um, yeah, they are very active, to say the least. So that's one thing I've always admired about the process that they've gone through here is that this game didn't just come out and then stop, right? It, uh, it has continued, which is very nice. Um, they didn't start with the blinds, so I don't really need to worry about the combo generation that much, but... So Breacher is going to mean that he's he's going to jump to the front um, and that he's going to start with Taunt and with Strength. <laughs> YouTube, please sub. Maybe won't let us out of his basement. Do you think that them subbing is going to let me, like, make me get you out of the basement? Mm -mm. Andy, you're going back in the pit for another couple days, okay? All right. Come on. You know better. You know better, Andy. Disappointing. Uh, all right. Get back in the pit, Andy. Back to the pit. Got six burn on him, and he hasn't even been the one that's like hit by anything quite yet. So, oh my God. No, not the pit. Does Breacher get affected by ambushes? Um, the ambush procs first, and then Breacher procs. I do. I do believe. So the way that it should work is that it'll get shuffled and then Breacher will push him forward. But I could be incorrect on that, but I think that's how it operates. Like the Keen Peel skill, the guy donates $5 to help out children and the van rolls up and lets five kids, yeah. Ah. All right, we should make sure this guy dies. They're dead. So for a breacher is very good. Um, I I am a believer that you can make breacher work on any hero. I think the biggest issue of breacher ends up being when you've built a hero to like be like an orphan back row orphan runaway, and then they end up you know in the front. But if you get breacher at the crossroads, you can build a team really well with it. Only your subs can save me from the pit. Or subs here. Yo, guys, I mean, I'm just saying that ring fund ain't gonna fund itself. You you know? <laughs> I gotta change that, actually, because um, obviously you guys have been amazing at helping me put some money towards Shelby's ring. Um, but the next goal is gonna be unlocking more emote slots. I really, the animated emotes are being done right now. <clears throat> um, and then once they come out, uh, I think you guys are gonna be really excited and want more. I want more emote slots now because the artist the uh, is amazing who's working on them. Gaze. Have you been designated the... Uh, All manner of diversion and dalliance Psycho, thank you for the sub. You did not have to do that, but I appreciate it. Thank you for the hand. The backing track to my starter gaming. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Yo, I love being background noise. If I'm somebody's background noise, that's a huge honor. 
Arbalest to get added so I can just get Breacher on her. Yo, I feel like they'd Consider make Arbalest work pretty well, though, you know? Plan accordingly. Uh, Carve Toy is kind of goofy right now. Carve Toy is, is an example of them having messed with a hero and then not having made changes to her trinkets, right? Like they did, they were, they did the, the thing the proper way around uh, for Highwaymen and Grave Robber and actually changed the trinkets. In this case, it's like, I don't really know how this stacks with Hearthlight uh, plus now, you know? Um, what chapter is this? Oh, good point. This is not cha Act 3. This is Act 5. And you can always see the Act over here in the bottom right next to my face, or the bottom left. To the right of my face, but left of the screen. You know, I see it over here. And I need to do the path. Thank you. Yes. Uh, okay, so we have a... Um, we have Orphan Runaway with Virtuoso Jester. We have um, Ritualist, and then we have Tempest. And then we'll go ahead and turn that on. There we go. And there's an extra space there. An extra space there for some reason. I don't know why. Um, we're going for the, the classic today, huh? Yeah. Did I miss the YouTube intro? You did miss the YouTube intro, yes. Um, my back row damage is very limited right now. Taking on the librarian would probably not be a great idea. I think we could probably take on the baby, though. Um, I would like to see the new decimal system thing the baby is rough with the um the and with the star of the chosen kingdom. right we need to make sure we grab that while we're at it as well star of the chosen so we're gonna go ahead and throw this on so this will basically start every round or at combat start every, one hero and one enemy starts with three taunt and also a combo token and then every round start uh somebody starts with combo both an enemy and a hero and basically you get additional crit if you have a combo token but you get additional damage taken and then same thing for the enemy enemy gets additional crit if they have a combo token it's a higher rate um and then uh more damage taken the lower the torch level the um the more the that affects things isn't a pleasant experience either yeah it can be really rough all right so i'm gonna go for fade to black we don't really need the combo generation that much i guess but it is really nice to have. I'm also going to go with Smokescreen. Um, just being really potent um, you abilities to get here. Wealth no longer so has let's see what we have. Um, indeed it ever did. I know I've done this a lot. I am kind of tempted to go again for Pliskin. Especially, uh, is Start the Chosen the hardest Infernal Flame? No, I would, I would say that it's still between Stygian and Bastard's Beacon. I think some people would say Bastard's Beacon is harder. I think Bastard's Beacon gets easier in the mid game and then gets spikes at the very end, where Stygian is hard across the board. But I, I think Bastard's Beacon probably is harder. Yeah, we're just, I'm just gonna play it safe. We're gonna go for the medical gear. I like if we didn't have medical gear available to us here, I would go for like Shambler spawn or something goofy. But I think this, this really lets our ritualist it shine, which is fight. good. Um, perhaps it can calm. So that lets us stack poultices higher, right? Yeah, if we wanted any. Do we have any food? No. We don't have any impermeable poultices, do we? No. We do have some money for a trick. We can actually afford any trinket we want here. Um, additional vulnerable generation can be really good for us. Uh, I'm cool with this. This can this can actually be really good on the Jester, lining up combos with a vulnerable, which could be really nice. We're gonna go ahead and make sure that we get these guys with that, and then he can have this. Um, I don't really need the burn poultice. What things are we going to be dealing with in this fight that we're going to want to deal uh, if we're going to take on the baby, right? Which is right now is my goal is to take on the baby. I think we're going to want some smoke bombs are going to be useful. I think milk soak linen is going to be very useful. Uh, none of this is... Uh, clotting powders can be very useful for us in this fight, actually. There is quite a decent amount of bit of bleed. 
Smelling salts. I don't think we're going to be dealing with days that much in that fight. Uh, Laudanum might be the other option here. We can also take the glimmers. Actually, glimmers are probably going to be good for us. Getting our torchlight up right before we get into that um, fight is a really good way to just kind of mitigate some of the issues we're going to have. Um, hey, Xenathot, how you doing? Welcome on in. You're looking, you're still alive. You're still here. Still cooking. All right, we're going to try to take on the baby. We'll see how we feel, but I'm kind of in a mood to be doing like multiple regions. Uh, not multiple regions, multiple layers. I think we're in a good place to do that. You can see they've changed the colors of the some of the torches. This one's kind of like a purple. The They've got purple, green, and blue now. Um, and I do wish that they had gone... Like, the green one is very vividly green. I wish they'd gone, like, red with this or something, with the color, different colors, instead of that. But it is what it is. All right, we do have a hospital right before the lair, which is nice. Loathing into assistance encounter, into barricade, into... Okay, so we end up with one loathing into hospital. Um, okay. Which one is it? Star of the Chosen is what we're going for here. Thanks for the hydrate, appreciate it. Hmm. Okay, well, this is fine. I mean, it, it's very unlikely to be a warlord. So. So here you can see this is the Star of the Chosen doing what it's doing. We can rely um, only upon so I can other. only hit this target, right? But it's gonna... This... Star of the Chosen on these fights is particularly insidious. Um, because of the reality that you um, you end up having to hit the barricades, right? Like, there's no, there's really no option around it. Um, Agony by accumulation. But the fact that these can get combo tokens now does help a, a lot. Um, Oh, I should have taken that combo token. Crud. Stay I kind of forgot that Sackstab eats the combo tokens. Ooh. I... Look, man, I don't want to have to use one here, but we... Oh, wait. We ate through the guard. Oh, that was a misplay on my part. I didn't realize we'd eaten through the guard fully. And I thought that we'd have to hit the barricade. We didn't, in fact, did not need to hit through the barricade. Legit got Warlord first barricade, first region on beacon, then got death. Yeah, it, I mean, uh, if you're fighting on beacon, you're you're much more likely, right, to run into the uh, run into the into those bosses. Firestarter lets you lean into like a good amount of um, crit heals, which is nice, especially because this guy's about to just eat a lot of crits. But Leper over here, just like hmm. Don't really need that. Uh, yeah. And still spread the burn, which is good for us. Um, I mean, it's immune. It's, it's whatever. Would have gotten collected afterwards. Did you have a head for the collector? Good resist. Why are you resisting stress? Is that a memory we've got going on? Or, no, I'm guessing... I keep forgetting about Virtuoso. It's gonna... That's gonna end up getting removed, I'm pretty sure. Or it's gonna be built into the kit in a different way. It's gonna end up being, like, part of the, uh... Like, using... Inspiring to... Or using, like, Battle Ballad will give, like, a 50% stress resist or something. Like, it's not gonna end up being, like, a passive the way it is right now. There's no way. It's, it's one of the most powerful, like, things in the game. Yeah, well, we will get a crit heal here, which is nice. There we go. Yeah, I mean, by the end of the fight, like, look how much combo we've just got going on. Hope the new pass make Battle Ballad and play out better. They're really good on Intermezzo, but outside of that, yeah, they, they're really rough. Like, I don't, I don't, I very rarely path. use them. Very, very rarely. 
Bear Trap and Thunderclap Grenades. These are both really good finds. My favorite favorite path so far in the new updates, um, I would say Yellow Hand. I think Yellow Hand kind of knocked it out of the park. Again, I think it's almost too strong. I would say overall, like one of my favorite paths to play would be something like, um, like Carcass is really fun. I really enjoy playing Carcass. Um, Intermezzo is super fun. I have a lot of that fun with that one. But as far as new paths go, it'd be it'd be Yellow Hand. I'm scared of when we won't have built in uh, plus. Yeah, the the yeah, the increased um, piercing. Yeah, it's going to be built into the kit some other way. We'll see, you know, I think I have faith that they they're going to be able to. Hey, you finally beat Act 5. Hell yeah. Congrats on beating the game. GG's huge, huge victory. All right, well, we have to hit here, so... Uh, we actually outsped them, which is interesting, so... Might as well go for the... We don't really need the combo, per se. Uh, it's gonna go for fire starter here. Yeah, what team did you have? I'm curious uh, about what you were running. So, we don't need to worry about the combo... Leper is going to be able to just mark it, so kind of a, a waste, I would say. We end up spending a lot of turns killing one fairly weak enemy, you know, but that's fine. Let me go ahead and remove that corpse. We do have a crit token here, which is nice, so we'll go ahead and crit. Crit burn, five times five, and that's 25 damage that we just slammed onto that guy, which is awesome. Um, he's gonna hit up here. I'm gonna blind here. Because he's more likely to actually use the meat hook skill. This guy can't hit that rank, so. Um, good miss. Unfortunate leper movement, but it is what it is. Getting some move resist on him is gonna be really helpful for us, for sure. Uh, this is where, like, I almost think that maybe we should throw on some, um... Like, Battle Ballad here could be genuinely good for us. If we end up in situations like this where, like, the Leper is in a, is in a tight spot, you know? Uh, Ritualist, Surgeon, Night Sworn, Sergeant. Sur Surgeon is very... Surgeon is very fun. I have a lot of fun with Surgeon. Take advantage of the burn spread here. Yeah, him being in the back is pretty good for us. He, he ends up doing a much weaker attack. Um, and that was pretty bad movement by the AI, so we'll just take it. Yeah, big heals, big damage. It makes her feel really, really... She's fun to play when she's when she's a surgeon. So you can see here, like, right now we're getting no benefit if we have combo besides taking more damage. So everybody here is getting a plus... Besides Runaway getting plus 20% damage taken. And enemies get additional crit. So it's a pretty, it can be a pretty brutal, brutal torch, this one. My concern, especially against the um, the baby, one thing that this torch tends to do really effectively is force you to have to hit one of the meats. If you get unlucky and it forces you to hit the, the small meat, yeah, you know, it's a one in three chance for it to spawn on that. It, it can be really bad. Um... So this is fine, honestly. Like, this doesn't give us any additional blight, but if we're if our health is up, then we get uh, some stress resist, which is always nice. But here, how's it going? What's the idea behind today's team? Uh, Breacher Leper wants to smack things with combos, so we pick Star of the Chosen. The void has rendered reality. Almost as fun as I really like Physician too. I hope that. Um, when they rework her paths, the they keep her being a fun like they they lean into that being a really fun support path and i think it can be super fun uh, I, I think it needs a lot of like you have to be you have to work really hard with it right is scouting a necessity here i mean the only thing we're going to figure out is like we're going this way we're, we're pretty much locked ourselves in right so there's not much that i care about scouting wise i'd rather take the food zim how you doing Really wish notifications actually worked when people went online. Yeah, uh, I know. That's why I try to stick to my schedule as best I can, so people can generally, generally know when I'm up and doing things. Well, come on in. Good to have you here. We only just started, so you're all good. 
you will fight so that others may flee. Is this a... Okay. I thought for a second this was a like a extra fight. Doesn't have the biggest heals, but maybe that one was two in the nose. Probably. I, th I, I don't know. I, I, I think again that their design philosophy has changed over time, right? So um, about like what what they have had in mind for a lot of these heroes and stuff, so. Morning chores, count me on that phone to remind me. Yeah, yeah I, I get that. I get it. Suffering begins. Um. In crisis. Magrain physician or bird team had a bunch of fun. Hell yeah. Upon each other. An increased crit chance does does some wonders. Please dodge. Nope. Okay. Incremental. But deadly all the same. What's our turn order here? Oh, I can't echoing march. That's unfortunate. I was gonna try to pull the uh pull the urchin forward, but alas, no luck. Burning any torches stay yes, we started the uh, started the chosen today. And he resisted the burn too. Oof. This guy. This guy. Just removes the corpse. Doesn't really do anything. That was a weird, kind of glitchy movement there. I love when leper leps. Um, I don't have any way to deal with the stealth, do I? I don't have half light on or anything like that. So, uh, we can do this and then purge. And then that makes us able to hit this guy and we can hit him with smoke screen and he might miss. There we go. That was some big brain plays right there. <laughs> the past is gone. Let it die. Target last enemy self. Yeah, that's been in for the, quite a while, Mordecai. If there are no corpses and there's a one stealth enemy, you can hit them. Um, let's see, turn start crit. I mean, yeah, let's go. go for it, huh? Yep. Yeah, so you can kind of strategize around that. See, it's useful to know when you're in like the the sluice and stuff like that. Your path lies through them. Right. And so they must fall. Um, how's our torchlight looking? Oh, I always forget that you the click in here and then you, torchlight looks fine. We want to take the fight. We do. We get vulnerable. That's good. Uh, you know, I'm going to keep those thunderclap grenades. Those are very useful. Depending on how the baby fight starts, using thunderclap grenades might let us kind of shuffle the things around to get some place that we want. Um... But yeah, this is a pretty this is a pretty nice start for us. Oh, okay. What's your burn resist? Not enough for me to think that that's something you should be able to do. But you know what? You do you, buddy. The goats, on the other hand, have increased resists, so that kind of makes sense. But annoying nonetheless. The good thing about having breacher is it does kind of let us control the damage a little bit. Oh, I should have gone for the combo hit. I that was a misplay. That was a misplay. Oh, well. No streamer luck. No streamer luck. And pull here. That's gonna move. No. I'm surprised he resisted that. Yeah, that puts us back in position, which is good. Q. 
Okay. The goats are scary right now when you have a butcher and uh, not a great heal. We need more healing items. There's definitely something we need to be looking into. I'm surprised that's stuck, but I'll take it. Get a meat hook here. Pretty high damage meat hook, honestly. Yeah, occultists looking a little rough right now. We're gonna need to figure that one out. Let's go ahead and perch here. Uh, can we encore him? We might be able to self bleed him and then cauterize, which would be helpful. Nope. Yeah. There we go. Steady yourself. Unfortunate. Uh, spread the burn if we can. Nice. Bro, leave him alone. Agony. Okay. By accumulation. Like, chill out. Okay. That's better. Dead. We have a solemnity in us. Yeah, we do, just for the stress reduction. Now we can go ahead and kill here. Should be enough to get her to dead. There we go. All right. Collaboration confers Excellent. advantage. Good place. Trying to be strategic Abandoned here. Abandoned or forgotten, it is ours now. The loathing whispers. All right, where are we going? Hospital. Yep, 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 yep. Order doesn't take us to the lair. We're trying for an early lair here. I don't know how successful that'll be. The baby could definitely kill us very quickly. But if we can get something good from it, then we can get something good from it, and that's really what matters, so. Getting some healing items will help a lot, though. Ghastly Gruel isn't going to go that hard for us as it would normally of Ritualist, because we're running him in rank 2. Rank 2 Ritualist is a little weird. We could run him rank one, potentially, if we really wanted to, but that only increases his healing received. It doesn't increase his healing given, so. All right, what do we got here? Anything we really need to get rid of? Cultophobic could be pretty rough. Oh, you know what? While we're here, no. I know what we do. We lock that shit in. And we grab this medicine chest. Uh, this is going to be very useful for us uh, if we survive this fight, increasing our healing potential. Um, this is the way. It is the way. Breacher is always the way. There's no cure for my condition. Such is the way of things. Buddy, we can literally cure leprosy. We've seen it happen before, okay? I'm sorry that you've got super leprosy, but... Like, come on. Oh, true, yeah. You're right. You're right. All right, so let's take a look at our common items here. This is going to be useful. That's going to be useful. That's the one that I don't think we're really going to need now. I don't know. Thunderclap Grenade is very useful for this fight. So is being able to lock somebody in position, but... Um, an add three bleed could be very good, but the blind is very nice. I think we're good with this. All right. Of course, we will run if we need to, but I think we got this. Assuming that we don't have any crazy fights. The landowner's manor. Do you hear the child's cries? It. It's kind of the perfect, uh, perfect reasoning for having Encore here. Go ahead and spread that burn. The dodge, thank you. Yeah, that taunt in the dodge, that's excellent for us. Let's hit here. Uh, I, was, I mean, either way, it was good we got the kill. I was just like, we might as well go where that burn is, so even if he doesn't get the kill damage, we can still get the, uh, still get that. Oh my god, Bonnie, you're an absolute fucking champ. An absolute fucking champ you are. Um, Don't really care about her doing backsplash. Go ahead and blind here. Let's 
so she's dead now. That repost is annoying. Um, more than anything. Hold fast. Good resist on the crit, thank you. Ah, might as well go for that. Excellent. Buttressing man doing the Lord's work for us there. And then we just go for that. If we get lucky with a crit token generation, we'll be feeling very nice. Ah, uh, see now this is a fight I didn't want to have, was was particularly this double lady fucking mash. It's annoying as shit. And the um the interaction being forced onto him is not enjoyable either. But it's gonna be hard to get damage where we want it. Yeah, these these enemies, it doesn't matter where they are, because of their because of their nature to cleave everything, it's it makes them extremely annoying and everything hit. And we got hammock rot. I mean come off game, come on. The only benefit of this comp for the, us is that the ladies don't generally have any corpses to eat or anything like that, so it does make them a little less annoying until they go ahead and eat that corpse. Bro, why does it get to do baneful bath? breath twice in a row fuck you game that's a really powerful aoe ability to be able to just get off twice uh i feel like that annoys me man As, that is a lot of health we're now down just yeah all right but come on man This isn't great. We're not in good condition right now. I don't know if we want to take this fight, I'm entirely honest. Like we're gonna we're gonna go into this really rough. I should have run and hide earlier. What's the run today? The uh these guys are gonna kill things. That's the run today. Uh we're running Star of the Chosen with a combo generation, but it is not panning out for us right now. I don't know, man. I don't think we can take this fight. Ah, fucking double lady with the crits and just, ugh, oh, it's unfair, man. Bate, I see you're about to go dive. I don't care about this. This is a really bad haul, too. Like, these trophies don't do any, or trinkets don't do anything for us. Mm. I mean, this is the only decent one is Cleansing Sensor, but... Uh. But I hate leaving fights. Ah, uh, why, chat? Why? In crisis, no gain is insignificant. Yeah. Man, that's sad. I could have gotten like a better run out of that. I haven't run into a shambler in forever. I run into a shambler, I'll fight it, but. Overconfidence is a rapid uh, cause of success. Desperate no, I like taking risks, chat. Buff their earnest, please? Damn. Um, I mean, that saves us. When you think about it, that's about the. I wish things like this where it says like 12 relics, right? 
for I get an armor and a wheel token. I kind of wish it was eight, right? I wish that I was saving some money doing it here versus doing it. Well, I guess it's it's well, what I should. Uh, I'm an idiot. Ignore me. It's relics versus baubles. That's different. It's a different currency, right? Um. Oh, we don't have food. We're fine on food. Let's just go for it. Yeah, it's just annoying. I, I like taking layers. Yeah, it, it is. It is. I'm. I. I always get the fact that it's bubbles and. Uh, hey, I'll see how you doing, man. Good to see you. All right, and that's fine. Mistimed, as directed. Ow. That one's gonna be dead once uh, once my leper gets his opportunity. And honestly, okay, so screw that. There we go. To a stage gear, maybe that's the new meta. It is possible. You can get two stagecoach items. It's just really hard to do. When I say hard. I mean, it happens. You, you just have to. It's an RNG thing, right? This has to line up that way. These guys have a really high crit chance when they have combo right now because of the because of the modifiers, so we gotta be cautious of that. Dodge, thank you. Dodging a bullet, it's impressive. A resounding response. That's into a repost. I'd rather not. Especially because the repost is so likely to get, like do 30 plus damage. I can deal with this, right? That's easy. That's an easy fix. Then we just purge here. There we go. Now they're in range. Um, let's throw a vulnerability hex here. Damn! Bro, you stacked yourself up there. Holy shit. an interesting play. <laughs> I mean, it's a dog. He doesn't know. All right. Ugh. In crisis. No in crisis. Significant. You've already said that, Wayne. Ugh. Hope everybody's having a great, a great start to your weekend. You all are having fun. Alright. Um, we don't really need the torchlight right now. Blind is definitely applicable. They they both uh, yeah, they buff on death, yeah. I kinda wish, I've said this a couple times, I do wish that maybe like on the because the cultists kinda get a um Cooperation a, uh, a buff like on act three and later, right? With their ability to do certain different things and to get like block plus versus you know and dodge plus versus regular dodge and block. Be interesting if on um, what can Act 3 and later, on like Nocturne inspection? Commune actually gave another death armor token or even like a one regen or something, right? I think that could be pretty good. So, yeah, he did say the mitochondria is the powerhouse of the cell. It ab and, and absolutely is nothing but the truth there.
a little burn there. Don't give him ideas. Oh, I'll give him ideas. I think that's a good idea. So I will give him that idea. It'll just make them a little bit more challenging. Hell, even if that was only like an act four and later the thing, I don't know. I just hate begins. when I, I, hey, I hate. I just find it funny when they're like both on death's door with a burn and then they'll be like, Nocturne Commune. I'm like, all right, well, thanks for the free turn, I guess. I don't... Right, act five. Okay. No. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Is that yeah, it's it's like anti-leper coded. There we go. Now it's gone though, so. To finish this quickly. Get out of here. Skedaddle. Variable results. Nice crit. No. Haste and carelessness. All marks of the unprepared. Okay. Stop bleeding me. I'm bleeding all my blood. Incremental, but deadly all the same. All right, they're both dead. Now we just heal where we can. Maybe get a crit, maybe get a stress heal. Yeah, I'm glad that both those crits didn't heal any stress. Yay! <laughs> In this All manner of diversion. Sixty and months. Those Hi, who the threshold with coin in hand. Sixty freaking months. Thank you, my love, for sixty months of being with me. How you doing, Shelby? I love you. I love you so much. Laugh a new venido, bitch. Time save. Cough. We can get cough. I haven't gotten any cough. Once, yes, once cough, cough once. Just black cough would be great. Rest now for a time. Vite, you're soft. Stop being a soft boy. The it's not great. All right. Um, my relationships aren't looking terrible, so that's good. The next stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. That's as much as five years. It is. It's been a long time. Almost like we've been together for five years. Almost like. Consider your position and plan accordingly. Abandoned Every 60 waterway. months, five years passes. Whoa. Out of far worse than rats. That's mind blowing. Can we meditative totem off soft? Maybe it would take all of our money though. And I don't know if that's really worth it. If I'm going to be entirely honest. Torch is this. It is star of the chosen. Precious relics remind us of a time before the end.
Free general kill, yeah. No, we're gonna we're gonna go sluice it up. We're gonna get some sluice juice. We're sluice juicers here. Got one relationship up, huh? Worth. We have a what one five percent chance, maybe two. Looks like one five percent chance. So fine with that. One, one mastery point. When survival demands it. What do we want to put it? Um Alright. Could end up getting rid of Precision Striker, man. One in four chance to get rid of it, we do it that way. Something to ease the rigors of the road. Oh. Wow. Hey, game. Hey, well, how's it going? That was that was a really bad double roll. Black and red are just fucking amazing colors together. Yes, they are. Oh, look at that! The cut, the glow in here is really cool for the new torch colors. That green glow, that like teal green. Oh, that's nice. I just want a red torch, man. Just give me a red torch, Red Hook. Come on. Red would look so fucking cool. Ow. It's definitely one of the most fun, in my opinion. It's a, it's actually got a pretty interesting, like, effect with it. Boisterous gives him uh, dazed. I mean, he would already be starting the slowest, most likely, but let's not, like, let him get stunned, right? buff AF, yeah, he's pretty, uh, he's pretty beefy. It's the biggest gameplay change and isn't just extra difficulty, yeah. I, I mean, I would say that, um, the warm one is also a pretty decent gameplay change as far as, like, your strategy, but it's, that one's a bit more gimmicky. I'd say that one's fun. It's just, like, it's less strategy-based and more just like, oh my god, there's fucking worms everywhere! Which is funny, but it's not really, like, a, it gets a little boring, I guess. the key. Divers, yeah, yeah, brother, for democracy. Me and Bate were playing that yesterday. Super fun game. But the worm turns. The worm does turn. A nice cup of liberty. Yeah. Ow. Fiend's strength dwindles. Purge is an ability that I don't use often enough. It's one of the few abilities. I say few, I guess there's more now, but having a push ability is very strong.
elemental, but deadly all the same. Oh yeah, I'd love to see the the actual big wormy boy. Yeah, I think that'd be super fun. I think it'd be a cool elite and or like semi mini boss kind of deal for the sluice, like a roaming, like a roaming horror kind of thing. As big like monstrosity. We can rely only on I don't really think the other. sluice needs a lair boss, but I wouldn't mind it getting like a dedicated mini boss that you could maybe run into. I think that would open up for some interesting like plays. A little help impeccably timed. Something you can't predict or like because I think that's kind of the part and parcel of it, right? It's like not being able to predict things. Uh, man. This is, this is probably the sluice trinket I dislike the most. It's just, it's really hard to, like, find a viable... Like, if you have a viable stun team, yeah, sure, it works. But, like, building a stun team in Darkest Dungeon 2 is, is difficult, to say the least. Um, just doesn't work the way that it, it would have, you know? Would be weird. Yeah, I think... I, like, I just don't think it would work very well. I think the sluice serves a good purpose for what it does, and I like what it does. I don't think it really needs anything additional. But again, I, I would like maybe having, like, this roaming mini-boss that, like, is very rare in the sluice and, like, can drop a cool item, and, you know, that, that could be interesting. But a lair boss? Nah. If there was going to be a lair boss, it should have ended up... It should have been Wilbur, and since he's not, then, you know... The move resist is not particularly great there. Let's see if we can... Really, again, okay. Your move resist is 20, by the way, bud. Trinket is kind of a meme because it enjoys delivering enough the stuns in DD2. Yeah, it's just interesting to see. Like, stuns have gotten a lot stronger than they were, right? From when the game first came out. But it's just so hard to set up that kind of damage, right? To get the value out of it. Measure out your violence. A butt boss less loose. Judiciously. Mm. Days here. A master stroke. Yeah, he's dead, which is great. Mm, annoying. A promising development. So the flesh, yeah. Should probably throw on heart light over fire starter right now. In this region, like that should have been a thing I did. Stress down here. Lines. Um. Sure, we can get a good heal. Good kill. Except that's gonna be eaten now, unfortunately. Yeah. Crown the new swine. I think a lot of people have. There's been a lot of talk that maybe Wilbur isn't a specific pig, but is a title that the pigs have given, like their strongest ones, ever since Wilbur was a thing. Like he's like a. He ended up being like a legend, and so they they call uh, people Wilbur for like their best pigs, Wilbur or whatever. Um, which I think is an interesting, like, kind of explains him. Oh shit. Uh, regenerating a lot, you know? Cobra, how you doing, man? Pokemon in. Yeah, that was, that was almost guaranteed to be a crit, honestly. Little guy with flags, yeah. Like, he survived, like, you know, the first game, and, like, maybe was, was their leader for a while, but, like, has since moved on kind of deal. Or died or whatever, you know, so they just call their biggest brutes Wilbur's 
as a sign of respect. Like, that's kind of my headcanon for why Wilbur is, like, A, not like a huge mega boss or something, and B is, like, he, you fight multiple of him. As a Wilbur and Fulgur, yeah, it can definitely be very dangerous here, absolutely. I don't know how Smoke Screen is gonna survive uh, through the the um, the changes to the characters uh, and stuff. I don't think it's going to. Not in its current state. Double like Smoke Screen plus double blind combo vulnerable. Uh, it's just insane. I I mean it, it is. It is truly. It's truly an insane ability. And like I love it, but also I can understand if the devs are gonna maybe think about not doing that. <laughs> Ow. The fight with the Swine King Wilbur's live is considered a win, so maybe the head cannons that the hero. Uh, wait, if you flee the Swine Prince flight while Wilbur's alive, you get the victory? Uh, am I only, am I just learning this now? <laughs> what? <laughs> How many times I've actually legitimately lost to like Wilbur after taking on that fight and having a bad fight and then Wilbur killing like multiple heroes? The one pleasant in the extreme. This work is noble and necessary. How am I just now learning this? Out of spite, so it was news to me. I've never, I've just assumed that if the fight continued, right, which it did, that you had to kill him. Like the tentacles of the Shambler, right? Like. Okay. I mean, that's that's news to me. I, I genuinely did not know that. An impressive haul. Put, it to Put good that use. in your wiki, Nita. Oh, that's great for us. Um, inevitable end. You know, Inevitable End isn't bad. I, I know a lot of people dislike it because of the, the DBR ticking, but it's not that bad. You know, just don't hit DBR, like don't hit Death Door. But the ability to remove block generation is actually quite good, but also just every time he gets hit, he removes weakness. So he always is like feeling up to doing some pretty good damage. I think that's a fairly good, fairly good thing to have going on. Plus, this is good for us. Plus, stream with two people on Death Door trying to get Blood Moon out of fear of losing something. I had, jeez, I genuinely did not know that was a thing. The tangled trails, whisper of torment. I can't imagine that's super common knowledge. I don't know why. Like, I feel like the the game kind of teaches you that if the fight is going, like you have to keep at it to get the win. But I guess people probably leave the fight too, you know. Well, I don't know. This could be a place of research and inquiry. I, I wish a that to a once one thing I do want career. them to add as a quality of life thing is before I click and find out what this is. I don't know. I maybe it's on me. It could be a shambler. It's not a shambler. Okay, I'm just like maybe pre-shuffle, but eh, whatever. Complete the fight so killing everybody. Yeah. Um, do we want the hearts? Do we have the bleed resist to make the heart viable? I mean, maybe. Like, 40 isn't terrible, and bleed resist is fairly easy to get. The combat items are nice, but... Really? I 
hate Shattered Will. That's such a fucking annoying quirk. And it's a... The loathing consumed. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, game. Thanks. I'm glad I scouted that. No choice. The brutish creature uh, must be man. Whatever. Annoying. Very annoying. Shattered Will is going to cause us some problems. Um, and we get another Wilbur. Amazing. Or not Wilbur. Um, another one of these fucks. Yep. Yeah, double dodge. Okay, we at least got that, which is good. I love that you loathe the loathing. The loathing makes me loathe loathing. So loathing, 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 loathing. Lo Sorry, got a little stuck there. Let us hope to finish this quickly. Computer, I can't stand loathing screens. Yeah. Oh man. Le load. Glad that he was able to get that off. Can you die, please? Thank you. Appreciate that. At least he didn't crit, I guess. That's that's good. Come butt butt. I come butt butt. Yeah. I love I love my come butt butt. Combat butt is great. I still didn't put Arc Light on. A seven regen. Okay. Fuck you, corpse. Ah. This is no time to falter. I agree, Shaq. <laughs> Bro, fuck this. You're gonna have to get a gross bean. I don't have any spicy beans left. I, I think I'm actually gonna go ahead and probably disable the wheel spin. I'm not saying this uh, uh, like I'm upset, but I don't have any of the stuff left anymore. Uh, we'll, we'll do it later. I don't. I only have the beat, the regular gross beans now. I'm out of everything else. Uh, all right. Liver and onions or cappuccino. Bro, stop. You're blind. Be blind. We've been through a lot. Yeah, I've been through a lot.
Oh. Actually, no. Okay. Um. There we go. Oh. Means a short stream, guys. Yeah. Means chair stream. Yes, chair stream is great, though. But up until that point, we. I hate you guys. I, I hate every single person in this chat. You're all terrible. Yeah. I like YouTube better. You hear that, YouTube? Oh, fuck you. Get out of here. YouTube, YouTube's nice to me. You guys are pretty mean. You guys are rude to me here. The fire is lit. The table is set. The inn awaits. <laughs> Oh my god, I am terrible. How did you know? Because you just unleashed the cats, y'all fucking monsters. Now I gotta listen to this bullshit for the next minute of my life. This isn't self-inflicted pain at all. I didn't do this to myself. You did this to me, chat. You're the culprit. Not me. You. Hello, my love. Morning. Again, oh. bye. Huh? 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 A veritable catastrophe, yes. Alright. Make sure you guys can't dox my ass. Remember kids, if you stream and you get coffee from a coffee place, uh, make sure you take off your tags or name or whatever. Because, uh, it's amazing what information. I mean, I'm sure people could probably find me very easily anyway, but, you know, let's not play that game. Uh, all right. Super, you've been to my apartment. You know where I live. All right, we're gonna go fight. I don't know who we're gonna fight. The general, uh, can we? Maybe if we throw on intimidate, like intimidate and, um, intimidate with firefly and, uh, Echoing March and we do have a bounty hunter actually, right? Hmm. There, above the hearth. The weird hearth play is, is weird. God damn it, drop your trinkets when I hire you. Ah. Yeah. Na, 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 na. One sec, putting this in feedback. When hiring be the hired the replaced hero should drop their trinkets, please. There we go. It's in feedback. Fuck that. Leave them no quarter. No quarter. I shall leave them no money. No money at all. Okay. Uh, I don't really need to worry about move resist, I don't think, in this region. Experience. Upgrade chop because uh, is chop is good. Of all. And uh, firefly because firefly is good. The hero is consent about removing his trinket. I did, and he said, uh, take it. Take it, daddy. Um, weird. Spend anyway, all right, can, so, um... For wealth no longer has can we get rid of things? Indeed it uh, oh, look, she rolled uh, the thingy off. That's great. Fantastic. Good for her. She rolled Shattered Will, which is amazing. Uh, we're gonna give her that, and then also maybe give her another one, because, like, we can make her pretty much a just turn into bleed immune. To uh, just turn this into generation for regen, which is nice. Um, 
Ba 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 da 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 da. How are we doing relationships? It's Roaring Hearth, so we should be fine. Right? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, chat. Okay. And then we get some throwables, right? Some things to throw at the enemy. I don't need that. Um. Cool. Hog. All right. I want to see if we can get the new general trophy. That'd be nice. I haven't seen that one yet. Relationships are no bueno. I mean, they're all fine. Like, we're not going to get any negative relationships out of it. So, like, for me, no negatives is a positive. Stop is leagues away. Plan accordingly. All right. Let's go. General time. They respect Tried one another. Tested. As they should. Weird reconstruction will give strength. Yeah, I'm cool with that. War. Rewards only. Resignation. Wait, one s sorry, somebody just tagged me on it. Okay, so, uh, fun fact, I just found out you can actually, before you leave, you can actually get the other hero's trinkets. My bad. I did not realize that. Kyrogen's table, can we do that? Okay, where's the lair? Oh, we can't. We can't do Kyrogen's table and the lair. Okay. The flame sputters. You must give hope. To get it. Quick intimidate for the general fight? Probably will. Shoulder more than your share of the burden. Pick up line that I provide. You can just tell me to do that on our own time, and that would work, right? Why is uh, why do they all agree, but nobody wants to be friends about it? The first one for free. Oh God! Travel without proper reconnaissance—a <laughs> hasty and reckless thing, indeed. Being a friend is overrated, indeed it is. But hey, you're terrible. How many ubus that gets? Probably at least 1.5. When she's not on the phone of her mom, maybe we can uh, ha we can see about doing that. The enemy Great way to spread some burn. Wanes. Ow! That's a lot of damage. I don't like that. No siree. That's cool. Measure out your violence and apply it. Judiciously. Say goodbye to that piece of wood. I murdered it. Dead. If you're reading this on YouTube, share the best pickup line. Yeah, you should go ahead and do that chat or YouTube. I don't know. I'm so used to calling people chat. Maybe one day we'll have a YouTube chat. Oh my God, that's a lot of crits. Can we just have that health back? Thank you. Appreciate you, big guy. See, now that wasn't like a crazy amount of crit. New mic is out for delivery. Oh, nice. Good job, Amazon.
Fucking Hemic Rot, man. How dare it. Ah, get stunned, nerd. Excellent. Are you Pikachu? Because you electrify me. Ah. Ah. Barry, man, how you doing, bud? Good to see you, man. Berries and cream. Ah, oh, God, I love coffee, even when it hurts me inside. But ba 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 ba, I'm loving it. Doing okay, wee bit hungover. Nice, nice. Hope you had a good night last night then. If you're reading this on YouTube, BB was kidding. He likes us way more. Mm, I don't know. I think YouTube's got it. I don't know. YouTube YouTube is about to... Uh, I'm about to have more subscribers on YouTube than I have followers on Twitch. I've been doing Twitch for like six years. I've been doing YouTube for almost two, right? So like YouTube obviously... Ooh, I don't know, man. I think they like me more over there. So, uh, I don't know, man. If you're watching this and not following here on Twitch, you know, you're causing part of the problem. You might you might want to fix that, you know? I'm just saying. But I'm one of the subscribers on YouTube. Yeah, but there's... Some people aren't, you know? <laughs> Could you just... Could... What? Let's not go into the weeds about the realities of Pokemon, huh? Like, oh shit. <laughs> Followers that want to support you? Nah, fuck those people. I mean, no, a lot of them are, you're right. Oh my god. Don't move. Uh, stop! This is not a conveyor belt! <laughs> I don't like this. My orphan runaway should not be up here. Run and hide. Oh my god. Guys, this is this. Uh, Are you sure on about scale that? of. What? I don't even I'm know what that said. Squandered. I can't. Don't cry, BB. Don't worry. I was gonna cry. I probably, I probably, I probably would have. All right, Leper's back. Yeah, Sue's back. Why is my, look how much damage I've done in three rounds. I haven't even killed anything in three rounds. And it's got flesh weaving. Hey guys, this isn't good. Empowered, emboldened. Oh my God, can we stop? Oh my god! It's a it's only a 25% chance. You steady yourself. I mean, there's no point in even I need to kill this altar. This thing is absolutely ruining my day right now. Yeah, this is obviously the best dance team, guys. You didn't know that? A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Holy fucking shit with the blight too. Come on. <laughs> this has been one of the most painful cultist fights I've had in a while. Oh man, that ordainment just absolutely like wrecked house of us. Criminal cop realizing everything is still alive on round five and saying to myself, dang, this cop is shit. Yeah, it, I find that when you do experimental comps or weird comps, you end up with situations where you're just like, hmm, this worked really well except for this specific circumstance. And then you're like, hmm. There's a reason that, like, generalist teams gem do very well. Fuck. 
but we are, yeah, the tides have turned. The thing is that this team does have a good level of survivability. Though, removing that corpse is probably the wrong idea, but... Turn one chaotic offering an Amnesis. I mean, you can. There's no rule saying you shouldn't. You know, you might die or something, but... You know, for science. Man, pul Pulsing Heart, if you have, like, bleed immunity, is just incredible, by the way. It's so good. Like, that constant regen is just, like... It's nice, man. It's real nice. And she can also remove the bleed anyway, so it's not that big a deal. Bounty Hunter is going, so we're not gonna, like, we should stop him from taking more damage. This wound at least has been tended to. Da, 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 da. There's a, oh yeah. Wait, there's Duchess. Hi, Duchess. Glad everybody's having a good start to their weekend, y'all. Greater threat to those who dare. Idle thought. Mm. <laughs> yeah, I will say that like forcing yourself to take weird team comps does like put you in situations where you like learn you learn the benefit of some abilities that you maybe wouldn't have had like learned before which is always nice right i find that i find that to be one of the best things about like trying abilities and trinkets that i like i try to force myself to try trinkets i wouldn't normally like we've had some really good runs of vital thought would i use it in a in a lair fight like what's coming up here no so i like i shouldn't put that An on but problem is it not uh, i trust you have calculated your no actually carefully. Fisherman Nets is good. We want throwables, right? Throwable, throwable. That is not a throwable. That is a throwable. Yeah. What was that that we just ran through? Was that loathing, I think it was? Okay. Foul winds and foul tidings. Good Friday, baby? Yeah, yeah. Me and uh, Bate played Helldivers 2 for like three hours or something. What's the horsey trinket? Uh, Carved toy. Uh, it's kind of weird right now because they updated the runaway those a few patches ago or whatever, but never updated her trinkets. So, but it gives like 50% chance for a hearth light to apply combo. And if you're stealth, you have like a 50% chance to get a crit token or something like that. Settlers of Catan last night because someone wanted a rule check and it went again. Oh, that's like, that's such a good feeling. Like, no. Nope. Oh, yeah, sure. We can have a rules check. Fuck you. I win. Steady. Super bonus hearth light. I mean, I don't think it really stacks that way, does it? It might. Hell yeah. She's not even a survivor. Twenty five percent and fifty percent at the same time. It it might work that way. I don't think it's gonna stick around though, right? Doom twenty sixteen soundtrack playing is a great combo. Hell yeah. Dude, that the soundtrack from that game is amazing. I need to play Doom again. It's been a while. We could do with some dooming. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. Nah, we murder fools. We can heal later. Healing can happen when it's time to happen. Doom soundtrack does slap, absolutely, yeah. I mean, they did such a good... That was one of the, like... Like, as much as, like, I know, like, a good soundtrack can make or break a game. I mean, that soundtrack alone, like, brought the game into the limelight, you know? They falter, so press your advance. 
No corpses for you, buddy. Only hip shotting. And run in, run in. Trying to run away. It'd be funny if enemies could run away. They, they actually did that in Darkest Dungeon 1, didn't they? In Griff Crimson Court. There, were, there was an enemy that could run away from combat. Hi. Hi. I demand kiss. Shelby licked me. <laughs> yeah. Shelby Hello. licked me. Don't owe oh, me. Get out of here. I live here. Get out of here. Uh, where is it? Batay wanted me to use a pickup line on you. Are you ready? Roses are red, ice is slick. Girl, you lucky, cause I like them thick. I'm a little thick. Welcome. There you go, Bate. Haha, <laughs> your girlfriend loves you. Yeah. Oh yeah, the little butler dude. Yeah, the little the little uh, guy who had the invites. Got to kill him. I'm glad you streamed. Later tonight, I'm gonna make you free. Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Better than I have the best pickup line, okay? Uh, Shelby Shelby is the pickup line person. Ew, these are sturdy enemies. I don't like that. <laughs> I don't like it, chat. Damn, girl. Damn, girl. No! I didn't hear it. Don't worry. You didn't miss out on anything besides Shelby saying she's gonna make me cream. So, do with that information what you will. Coffee. Coffee, 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 Yo, Marvin, how's it going? Oh, come on, how you doing? Good dodge on that smite. Thank you very much. Gonna make you get cream for her coffee? Gotcha. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sounds lovely. I drink my coffee black, so, you know. No, this is uh, Star of the Chosen. I like how this ignores guard, but it doesn't take guard away. So it's like, what's the point? <laughs> Bum, bum, bum. I was gonna keep burning the bishop back here. Punch the unworthy, so you can point your finger at the right person. Valid. Sometimes you just gotta point your finger at somebody, right? Let them know what's up. That would break military fights. It could. I mean, we used to have a way to ignore guard. You know? Great. Give that drummer a reality check. Your music sucks! This is not a good drum line. Bearman, I need you to, to bring the good drum line for us, please. Thanks. Appreciate it. Second rank occultist aspirant. Yes, sir. No, he's not aspirant. He's r ritualist. Ritualist. All right. Nah, we didn't get the new one. But still, Clenching Claws on our Leper is great. Footman's Grog is good enough. A nicer Clotting Cure is going to be helpful for Bonnie with that Pulsing Heart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good. Yes, sir. Can do. Hell yeah. Our resident drummer in chat. In the Berryman. The man he that is full of berries. Regarding interactive combo. Imagine. The part of Mark Death is specifically for her. Yeah, exactly. It seems like it's specifically for her, but it's like, but why? Everything I have interacts with the combo here. So we might as well just do the damage, right? Like.
The combo back here is kind of funny. That actually lets us spread the burn when Bonnie hits it, so that's going to be interesting. Oh, yeah, big boy. Numbers, my second favorite. Who's your Who's your first favorite? Your, I guess I could just say favorite, right? And that would be the same thing as that. But you, you know what I'm saying, right? Unsettling whispers. Not missing out that. Forty three damage. Man arms, yeah. Man arms is good, man such a poet i am truly like the like william shakespeare you know assuming that william shakespeare actually did write all of his stuff which i guess is like up in d debate these days but you know still hey you know that's a waste of a crit token oh well An entire repost team. We've done that. We've done a triple repost team before. It's pretty fun. Telling us you were his ghostwriter. Yes, I was William Shakespeare's ghostwriter. Bravo. Artie, welcome on in. How you doing? Loop. Easy. Damn it. Fuck. Shit. Ass. Alright, it's okay. Nobody cares about him. Yeah, at least it's the bounty hunter, right? Be all right. Just we'll just heal him for pretty much all of his health and call it a day. Savor it. Kind of pooped on this boss. We did kind of poop all over him. Ah, all right. Pretty good. Pretty good. You could say I'm pretty eyed at this video game, you know. The loathing. Base. Yes, chat, you do have the power to make... I need to be better about editing my clips, but if you guys do see something funny or goofy or or a good teaching moment or whatever, um, you can uh, you can do exclamation clip, and it really it really helps me out because then I can... I don't have to sift through the whole stream or anything to find funny moments. Magnificent, hell yeah. More arrive, foolishly seeking Michael Jan, seven, thank you much for the follow. I appreciate it. Domain Welcome to the, the Brat Pack. Welcome to the Brat Pack. Simple choice. Let's go to that hospital, huh? At least it That's probably be. a good idea for us, huh? We got some money, we can get rid of some things. We venture blindly forth. A sunflower, but it's a cool 90 sunflower road. sunglasses and does a kick there. With a guitar solo. It's a horse trinket. I never saw it before. This is uh, one of the hero trinkets for Bonnie. The runaway. Analysis is invaluable. 
Shut up, Wayne. I'm trying to, I'm trying to educate people here. Ah, uh, he actually wants to leave? Let us leave them a distraction. We can spare... Bro, this isn't your fucking money. <laughs> can leave them... We can afford it? What the fuck are you on about? Wayne is the good guy? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I don't think he... I, I think he realized he fucked up, right? I don't know if I'd call him, like, the good guy, per se. He definitely helped with the whole, you know, unraveling the world thing, but... He, he figured it out that it wasn't a good thing to do. Like, he's he's not really... Uh, I wouldn't really call him the good guy as much as, like, realize that he fucked up. <laughs> guy. Yeah, okay, dead. That's great. Ah, we'll just kill him. Spends the entire game locate. I love what he talks about the um when he talks about the flag because he hates him. He fucking thinks the flag is like the most disgusting like creature that ever existed. Isn't human. It's just funny that I hear the voice lines. The chosen target counts as a debuff, so that the main he can actually put it on an really interesting. I would imagine it. Hmm. Can it be healed by IS then? I've honestly never really thought about it. I'm gonna be entirely honest. I would imagine that it can be healed by IS then. Hmm. It's something that I don't deal with often enough to think about. How about the I would love. I'm not a big fan of tactical RPGs, but I could see it being a really fun take on the genre. Or a take on the game, I should say, not the genre. Um, I wouldn't be against it. I would play it. I'm not good at tactical RPGs, like, but I could learn for Dark Souls. I think it would, it would work really well, though. Can't remove it, though. Oh, so it heals, but then it doesn't remove. That's interesting. Yeah, it doesn't even go away once the, uh, the enemy's dead. So I'm gonna have to play around with a bit more. I, again, I don't really run into the run into that particular um, enemy very often, right? Fire Emblem, fucking Pogue. Baldur's Gate 3, not for you. Uh, it probably is for me. I just don't, and I say this a lot. I don't have the time to give it the energy that it needs to be a good game, right? Like Baldur's Gate 3 needs you to like play for hours and hours, and like that's a great thing if you have the time to sit down and do it. I just don't right now um and so i think i would just i would do it a disservice 69 very nice that's why i enjoy like roguelikes and things like this like this is, this is pushing it for like as long as i can go um on a game Abandoned generally you know three four hours to sit down and play now. a game but it has like a conclusion has a beginning or a conclusion that's kind of why i like it that's why i like roguelikes i can pick them up i can play them i can get like a full run in a full go and then you know be on my way and continue the rest of my day see that 69 moment would have been a perfect time for somebody to clip you guys would like to exclamation clip when those moments happen come on Hey lady, I'm here to cure all my shit. We need not be defined by our shortcomings. <laughs> Tonics, tinctures, tinctures and remedies. remedies. The science of hope. The odds of illness are high. Best to be prepared. 
Pretty good. Got rid of soft, which is good. Creature Den, double Creature Den. Ooh, you guys ready for some creatures? Uh, creature Den definitely makes me think we should flip on Hearth Light. We still have Carved Toy, but yeah. If I take that off, we lose out a lot on Pulsing Heart, right? Like if I take this off, it's still a 70% resist. It's pretty good. Nah. Hearth Light still gives us a lot of value, so. Ugh. Now I'm gonna get tagged down in Discord. People keep tagging me about something because I didn't know something. Ah, whatever. Somebody's trying to tell me that I can duplicate things. <laughs> Don't care. Imagine cheating. Sure to give you bleed. Absolutely true. Facts. Factual. Alright. Let's go fuck up some animals. Let's see if we can get a gander. I haven't seen a gander in a while. Be a nice nice thing to run into. Okay, we don't have like a crap ton of dodge to deal with off the bat, so uh, honestly, the burn spread here is just nice. Plus a vulnerability hex, we do have a way to eat through a lot of the a lot of the dodge and not really worry about it. That one's dead, so that's good. The combo is scary on this these fights though, particularly against spiders, right? So just something to keep in mind. Ugh, itchy, itchy. Sorry, my eye my eye was super itchy there. Ow. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. The no bleed on that is also a hella cool. Love that for us. What generated a crit token on you? The ordainment, that's what it was. Is that gonna be does that crit? We'll see. Uh no, Hubba. This is Star of the Chosen. That's why we're got the combo and the taunt here. Okay. Yeah, that's just gonna stop him from going first, which is good for us. Um, get some combo going here, and then we break. We'll remove all of the block tokens, which is nice. And there we go. So that's no longer a threat. Come on, lady, you gotta dodge. Eat through that dodge, so it's just gonna generate more, but that's fine. Run a hide here, get her back in position. She now has a five regen going on, which is really nice. Um, just purge doesn't really do anything besides uh, stop us from generating more blind, potentially getting a hit, which is always nice. Got a crit token there, which is good. A slow dissection. An unavoidable end. All right. The kill. Nice hit. All right. Do we need to set anything up for the next round? Uh, mm. yeah, let's get the kill. You're resisting the blind quad spiders. This is basically what we didn't want to see. This is a guaranteed combo for spiders. Um, so not good. And they outsped us all. So yeah, this is basically the worst combination we could have gotten by far. And they stunned my healer too. And they went straight for him again. He's probably dead. Um. Okay. Is 
that yeah that this is about as bad as it could possibly be for us i don't have a way to heal him his dbr is 75 right now so i don't have a way to encore here i don't i really don't have anything here elementary um i don't even have a way of generating um generating lock reveal worryment getting the item what do you mean only getting the item uh please don't go for him steady yourself okay saved all right We're, we should be okay at this point go ahead and go to reconstruction Master f oh yeah I mean you can you can basically get anywhere from one to three mastery in one of these fights right very lucky on the DBR hit there um, really doesn't get much luckier than that unfortunate yeah you can you, there's one item that can give you two mastery points um, I think it's the congealed slime and then you can also get a mastery for the fight itself so um, you can get three mastery on it But you're always guaranteed to get one if you if you win the fight, of course, right? You're always guaranteed to get one. Because every item will give you one mastery point, at least. Yeah, Congealed Slime gives you two mastery points. So you can technically get three, but it's rare, of course. So yeah, this one, discounted combat and in items. We did get two mastery points out of that. Cactus, how's it going, bud? Well, come on in. Always good to have you here, friend. All right. Um. Yeah, that was an unfortunate fight. Not unfortunate. I mean, we we obviously are okay. I wish the fight itself guaranteed a mastery point for it. Yeah. Some some. Um. I would like. I would enjoy a level of. Um. Wow. Do we have a modifier for? We do. Okay. Um. A level of control over my mastery points. I I don't dislike RNG elements of it. Like, ooh, I got more. But I feel like it should be a, I can control that I at least get some. If I get more, that's great, kind of thing. I don't really have a choice. Well, we do have a choice. I think we can definitely do another creature, Dan. This one will take an armor token. This one, I don't know what it will take, and that could be double rough patches. So let's go for the middle one. Working in the figure skating competition most day. Well, that's awesome, dude. I appreciate you stopping by, though. I hope it's going really well with that. Sounds like a really fun time. Is, is the one that gives two, right? Yes, I believe that is the one that, the same one. The reason I do creature dance is for the masteries. I mean, the discount on items is really good. Don't get me wrong. Um, if you can get the rabid blood, though, that's the best one, I think, right? I think that one, does that one remove corks? I actually can't remember. What does the rabid blood portion. do? That's the rarest one. I think it's the, re it removes corks or something like that. Hey, that's doing really well, though. I would get literally zero with place. I wouldn't even compete, so. Um Okay, Shred of Decency doesn't do anything for us here. We just have to we just have to be cautious here about Um I mean I say cautious. The, the reality is we don't really know what we're getting into here. I think having withstand is gonna be helpful. Just having a way to taunt some of the damage away is gonna be really good for us. Um Let's go with bodyguard as well. Again, having a guard. Wait, or is it stare down that gives? Let's go. Let's go stare down. There you go. All right. One bad quirk per hero. Yeah, I think that's it. The Michigan schools are dominating. Not surprising. All right. Let's see what we got here. He wants to take the fight. Put him down. That's my man. That's my boy. All right. This is a fine intro. The spiders are precedents. Uh, we'll go ahead and hearth light here. Stumbling and Fortunate. Stupefied. But it is what it is. 
I'll just go with that. All right, so now, um, so we we have a lot of taunt right now, so it's really not that much of an issue. What's gonna do more damage? Twenty-four to thirty-six. Yeah, this is definitely gonna. That's gonna go for the kill there. On to the next. The slow suffering begins. Yeah, the necrophage is annoying. Yeah, we're doing Star of the Chosen. Which makes these fights particularly, particularly difficult. Uh, you know, combo, again, we're running onto the situation with the occultist, right? This is where the guard may have been the better option, because uh, even with the taunt, it's not going to stop them from doing damage to him. With the combo, they're going to go for him like 100% of the time, right? Um... Mistimed, misdirected. We, we have a lot of taunt going on right now, but not really doing anything with it. I'm gonna go for the blind here. Say only masteries. Yeah, I mean, it, it definitely has. There's a lot of value, I think, with these. I think it's just all about. Um. Bro, dodge and fucking cr blind. Dodge plus and blind, by the way. Fuck you, game. Moments like that where it's like, yeah, I did everything I could. And then the game's like, <laughs> but did you? Like, no, yeah, I did. Thank you. Here's the guards are, too, are so slow. Yeah, generally. I mean, that's kind of how tanks operate, right? That's the trade-off is like, you have to find a way to speed them up or slow everybody else down. Get rid of the spider. The spider is the bigger threat. Okay. Good resist there. All right, let's get some heals in. Come on, man. I got plenty of healing items. You need to be doing a little better than that, buddy. The enemy He's going to eat that corpse. Wings. Yeah. I don't know what the right play was there. Um, I couldn't put any damage into him, so I, I don't really know. All right, let's take all his health anyway. Uh, I got a free heal here. We go for a kill here. Me, what 14 oh man that panned out really well for us well done variable result and then we can uh, we're not gonna get a heal from solemnity here so i can just oh did i take off reflection i did okay that's fine good for good all right Gilius, how's it going welcome on in ah man triple spiders come on there's other things in the game than spiders I know this is a risk I, I took, but like, ugh. Just trying to force the damage away the from him. Begins. The natural crit here. How do you dodge getting looked at? I don't know. Video game logic, my friend. Video game logic. I'm gonna Solemnity here. Probably gonna Hearth Light. A lot of value in that Hearth Light, just peeling off a lot of dodge here. Weird. Man, that combo is... That combo is gonna really hurt us. Okay, thankfully that was the end of that turn. Okay, cool. The, the end of that combo. It's fine. Resisting the stuns is huge for us here. We're gonna get crit. Steady yourself. Yeah. Uh, combo tokens are a 100% crit for that, so something to keep in mind. Um, smoke screen here. Let's try to stop the damage coming in. That was a good smoke screen. Thank you. Man, I love that animation of it going all the way up to the ceiling. So well done. Okay, start getting kills where we can. 
That's just stream how's it running? Welcome on in, Flora. Welcome on in. Good to have you here. Uh, stream's going well. Run's going okay. We're a little bit dicey right now. The start, we're running Star of the Chosen, and uh, spiders are particularly nasty for us to be fighting right now. But I think we're okay for the most part. Um, if this hits, it's a stun. Ugh, resisted the stun, but I got the daze, I guess. The blind is also good. Big weird heal. Yeah, we we have a ritualist occultist, and we have two items on our stagecoach with uh, Pygmy Pliskin. So we have a pretty good, um, pretty good healing situation going on right now. All right. Big hits here. A simple solution. Okay, for the most part, I think we're okay here. We can go ahead and remove the corpses, which will stop the necrophage from eating or the guy from doing necrophage, whatever it is. Okay, um, just eat through the block here. Good miss. Rampant mutation, yeah. Well, he's already mutated, so it's, um, I think it's just called necrophagia. Let us take a closer yeah. look at the thing, as repulsive as it is. The damage going, excellent. All right, all in all, pretty good here. They really can't complain about this. Two creature dens with Star of the Chosen back to back, and we didn't die, so, like, that's a victory in my book. Annoying, but it's got a crit token or a uh, thing token, so we should be okay here. Let's go ahead and get it down the death door. What are our, what's our turn order here? We can get a heal. Um, get the heal here. She's got the regen generating for her, which is awesome. Can't get a heal here, so let's just go for. Yeah, let's just go for the card. All right. We maybe could have done a, a solemnity to heal off a little stress, but greater threats await those who all in dare. all, can't complain. All right, so we got um, another two mastery points there. So all in all, in this region, we have whispers. one, two, three. Uh, wait, where do our deliver deliverables don't count as in items, which is odd. So you have one, two, three, four, five mastery points so far not terrible definitely think we probably should be getting more for having done a layer and two creature ends but it is what it is uh, we know what's this way for the most part so i'm gonna go this way a fight is not a bad thing now a warlord might not be the worst option either if we can manage to snag one let's just make sure we check our combat items before we get into this i will want to try and increase our torchlight is the flickering torch you bear. Uh, corpses aren't really an issue in this fight, so just worry about what we got. Maybe should have switched back some of my abilities. Man, we've had... This is our third barricade fight that has been this exact same combo. Annoying, to say the least. Um, so if I hit it here, it combos and spreads the burn anyway. God damn, dude. That's him to death's door. And he might die. Very lucky that he didn't die there. That was just a really bad opening for us. I mean, what do you do with that, you know? Uh, let's increase our torchlight. We want to get the reduction on some of these things going on. Get some damage into this. Seven, so it's actually dead. Uh, let's go ahead. We've already got some things going on here, so... Uh, ah, screw it. If we miss, we miss. It's whatever. Um, yeah, let's heal the bleed. He still has a taunt, so he's still a likely target, but at least he doesn't have combo. Two, yes, I have Colbert. Yeah, we did. Uh, we did a few missions with them. Uh, the robots are brutal, man. The, it's. I find it interesting how drastically different the combat styles are between the two. It's really interesting, really well done. That, that game is so... Besides the server issues they're having, which is like... Kind of just something that happens when a game does way better than they expect it to do. 
Um, that game was genuinely super fun. One of the, some of the most fun I've had in a game for a long time. Quite happy with playing that. Welcome to Robo Nom, yeah. The memes are also hilarious. Really enjoying it overall. Be funny if that still bled me, huh? Alright, I'm gonna get the heal here. It's done there for us. Alright, overall, pretty good here. Um, movement does nothing for us. Honestly, Flashbang doesn't either. I don't really know why I decided to do Flashbang. That doesn't. That ain't doing shit for us. I still find myself wanting to play. Exactly, Emerald. Yeah, I, we we didn't get rewards like I didn't get like any rewards for the like most of the time we played. They did come back later, which is great. So like once I relogged, but I was like I don't want to leave because the servers are full, and we're in a server. So, um, but it it was still like that much fun. Like the fact that I could still have like a really enjoyable time without leveling per se, I think is a really good sign of what the game can do and how fun it is, especially with a friend or two, you know? Um, the gunplay is fun. The different like stratagems are fun. The game has the right level of just like not taking itself seriously, Burning which I think is, is a thing that a lot of games see. try to do and don't do well. They're like, oh, we're going to be really goofy and funny and try to take it over the top and, you know, break the fourth wall sometimes or whatever. And, and sometimes it pans out. And if it's done right, it pans out really well. But they did a particularly good job of it. All right. What disease does Towley have? Oh, he has Tarantism. Okay. But yeah, overall, really enjoying it. Definitely want to play it more. Be a good good game. I'm thinking about, uh, Pate made a good point of, like, doing some Discord streams where we can have, maybe have, like, if you're a VIP or a sub, you can join you know, a team with me or something. We can go do some dives and just streaming it in Discord for people to hang out with or whatever. Um. Yeah, a live service game with good bones. Yeah, it's a good way of putting it. It really does. It does have good bones. It has very good, like, a very good foundation to build on. I've never played the first one. I didn't even know the first game existed. Um, but I love, I mean, I've always loved, I mean, the, even just the genre that it fits into and the, the jokes. I, I love Starship Troopers and um, all that fun stuff. Whose fourth party member is um, Jester? I forgot. <laughs> Okay, what do we got going on here? Uh, this is fine. Leper got a little scared. He doesn't. He doesn't like cosmic enemies. Neither do I. If I'm entirely honest, especially uh, getting fucking. We can then fuck off. That another may finish the work. Um, getting the, uh, that's what it's called. Hollow Vessel all over the place. I'd rather not, but... Oh, good, Inversion. I'm glad that that operates the way that it does still. I really wish that Inversion only was operable if two enemies had tokens that he could take them from. That's not how it works, but... Try to get a stun here. There we go. Not a bad start. Let's go ahead and remove that blind, and we'll just kill him. He wants to take all that vulnerable, that's fine by me. We'll go ahead and take good use of it. Um, apply. Why did I do that? It doesn't do anything for me. I don't know. I just hit a button there for some weird reason. Okay. Leper just doing leper things. We love that for leper. Yeah, he was that wasn't likely to do anything for him. A lot of your health, but not all of it. Mmm, Yawning Void, interesting. Did... Wow! 
Holy crap. Peculiar pods actually procced. I think that's the first time I've ever seen peculiar pods proc. <laughs> um, hell yeah. Thanks for the disease cure, buddy. Yeah, 5% chance. We got it. Mm, I can only withstand there. Oh well. No dice, only 0% heal. Yeah. Damn, that was that was lucky. An inkling of potency still Silent judgment of these or well silent treatment. Sorry, I'm I'm combining snap judgment and silent treatment there together. The yeah, and now we get the good doctor out of spite, yeah. I always get the good doctor right after I get the uh These warm um, get sickening silence with a with right like the worries or something. It's like ah the perfect combo. The good doctor. Fuck! And it's the mountain next. Fuck! <laughs> Sitting there eating slime mold. Eat all the slime mold, please! Eat more than one. Get diseased again. I've I've actually managed to do that though, where I so I got good doctor. Cured the disease I wanted for sickening silence, and then I ate a slime the mold, and it instantly procced another disease, and I was like, "Oh, thank God!" The inn awaits its favorite guests. But that—that that was definitely a rare rarity. Man, everybody loves the river song except everybody. Whatever. All right. Stiff knees. Uh, winded. Uh. I mean, none of these are terrible. All right. Rain. Uh, fire, pile of ash. Rock. Is there no sanctuary? Mm, no, I don't madness. really care about pile of ash. No field hospitals, but visit an oasis. Sure, we'll go for the fetter. The That's fine. crop continues to spread its tendrils of rot and pestilence. I butt negative quirks. I also butt negative quirks. I butt them with much butting. Ah, uh, she got squeamish. You fucking asshat. Conventional fare, but fairly priced. You dumb lady. Let them know us by our reputation. Okay. Well, we have full healing items, which is great. Um, Learn what can be we have six mastery points, which is also great. Just a little taller uh, let's look at getting Inspiring Tune upgraded, Raise the Sweat, we want damage items. Uh, this is where we really want to start leaning into our damage by healing. Run and Hide is going to give us some really good benefits here. We could upgrade Hearthlight for the chance for it to give combo. There might be better things to upgrade. Um, we're probably going to take Break, not Break. Uh, We're gonna take bash, not break. The flame that trinket that gives damage per token would be amazing. Yeah, it really would. Yeah, um, selfish motivation. I think it is. is that which which one it is? Weakening curse or vulnerability curse? Vulnerability curse is a really good upgrade. We're gonna go for that. Pretty good, pretty good haul overall there. Um, we don't need this almanac anymore. It does nothing for us. We're not going to get a chance to go there. Footman's Grog. All right, who wants Footman's Grog? Probably better there than it is on you. We're getting very little, if any, value out of that. Do we want silent treatment on anybody? Um, if we could get silent treatment with carved toy, it'd be very good. Um, alas, well, actually, you know what? That kind of negates itself because it gives it. Yeah. Do we need that crit on anybody? Do we want that crit on anybody? That's not a bad one to have. It just means that we take a lot of damage if we're unlucky. Screw it. Let's have some fun. Let's have some fun, chat. All right. Um, we're going up against Act Five later, but for now we need to focus on. I'm gonna try to take on the baby, so that's why we're doing this. Relationships, relationships, relationships. 
mostly positive. We have one unfriendly, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to. That's very unfriendly. I don't think I'm gonna be able to do much about that. Outside of. No. We'd have to get lucky with Songbook proccing. I mean, we could try Songbook of Amorous Ballads. I mean, that could work, right? Okay. There we go. Fudge. We have no... Man, this could screw us more than help us, right? How many are, like, on the cusp? A few are on the cusp. So, like, if that proc negative, there's two that could be really bad. Uh, I don't know, man. I don't think it's worth it, per se. We definitely don't have any other items. Why do we have no whiskey here? Is there really no whiskey in this inn? I thought that was only Vestal Secret, but I guess I'm incorrect in that thinking. <laughs> now these only cost one trinket but actually that's a greater guild in mine for what one that's got to be good on somebody right Uh, I don't know. I kind of just want to take it. Like, it's just what, like, we'll, we'll kind of figure out if we want it on somebody. All right, I'm risking it. Okay, whew, good risk. Good risk. All right, let's go. Never punished. Nice, nice. Overall, very good uh, roll there. Dirgis Gaming, I know, right? Fuck yeah, we're we're Dirgis Gamers here, chat. We're absolutely pogged out of our minds. It's bad for the final fight. Uh, it is, yeah. But also, it just depends on how likely we are to hit Death's Door consistently. It's definitely for this long fight, the the final, like, Act 5 fight, because it goes, like, 20 rounds, generally. Or can go up to 20 rounds and longer. Like, it can definitely be a bit of a, uh, like, just ends up making you insta-die, which is not good. Where's the baby? Baby's over there. Faceless for simile. Do we want a Kyrogen's table? Do we get anything good out of Kyrogen's table? Not really. I kind of would rather go for the assistance encounter into the watchtower or the oasis. And then maybe just kind of make my way left. Get some speed, get some items maybe. Yeah. I don't I don't think Kyrogen's really going to do much for us. Like we can get apron, we can get spike skull cap. And apron is good. Um, in fact, on Bate, it can make him very very good at healing if we really wanted to, as long as he has a regen item on him, but yeah, I'm kind of meh about it. It's a rough fight, too, you know? This is fine. Two food items is definitely good for relics. In crisis, no Two steak is also very good. That's a, that's a good value. We saved some money on that one. Um, your collection can with four four triage kits oh, holy man. crap on a stick guys god damn that's a lot that's a lot of triage items What's still a more yeah I mean, we might have some fun with it right it should be we're in good condition i kind of want to try to see like rancid feast could be funny if we get it uh it doesn't work super well against this final boss but yeah be fun and who cares having a good time of it that's all that matters i wanted to do three free layers but we came by the baby earlier and we just ended up in really bad condition 
the uh, the new general trophy is the only one I haven't seen. No, I haven't seen the decimal system as well. The new librarian one as well. I don't want to do another creature den. We've we've done two creature dens. I'm I'm good on that. Thank you. I'm good on creature dens. No more needed. Thank you, video game. Anybody got any fun plans this weekend? Anybody doing anything crazy, cool, kooky, cool? Toothy and corpulent. Slaves to their hunger. Slaves to their hunger. Do, 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 do. All right. Strength token? I like, I like strength token. It's breacher value. Filling holes in the ice. Hell yeah. Icy. Ice, ice baby. Stupendous. Gonna finish painting some Warhammer minis. Very nice. I mean, like, this is kind of annoying. I'm, I'm kind of realizing that because the leper goes last, that I'm probably not going to be able to take advantage of his... Of the, like, I, it's hard to keep combo going that long. You know? So... I'm going to end up in this situation fairly often, I think. Dead. Dead. It is an honor to fight at your flag. Thank you. Dead. Remove the corpses, that way you can't eat them. Hey, big guy, what's going on? How you doing? Welcome to the fun club. This is the fun club. Bravo. No, you're not allowed to resist that. Yeah, have that. Please miss. Thank you. Excellent. And now I slam this into you. Even better. What uh, what army are you painting for? I never got. Like I tried to get in the Warhammer when I was younger. A lot of my friends are in the Warhammer. Still are in the Warhammer. I I just was never. I can never get into it. I really like the painting aspect. I did we not enjoy the, like the. The tabletop gaming aspect, I was just I've just never really been big into. More arrive, foolishly seeking for Shonky Donkey! Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome to the brand pack. Appreciate those follows, everybody. We're on our way to three thousand. We're on our way. We're we're you know, within a hundred of it. Some ogres and fantasy. Nice. Nice. Ogres are fun. I've always I've always enjoyed I used to, I mean when I I did forty K. I really, I got really into trying to do like Imperial Guard. I thought was super cool, even though they're literally like probably the most boring. <laughs> what do you think about it? It's like it's just regular, like army guys. Like yeah, I know, but still, they'd feel right at home in the Fetter. They would. This would be a good home for them. All right, dead. Yeah, you carved that toy, big guy. Oh wow, that was a lot of. That's a lot of damage. I don't like that. If you could not, that'd be fantastic. Okay. That works. Early results are encouraging. That crit token is scary, so we're just gonna do that. In crisis, we can rely only upon each other. Working on relationships here. If I can, I mean, trying to, but obviously didn't do anything. Miss. Good. Good man. Love that for you. Now, nah, how about you come over here? Thank you. Combo, blind, all feeling pretty good. Only 12 damage. That was a low roll. A breakthrough. Now, nah, how about some vulnerability? Excellent. Loving that for you, big guy. Um, so close. Another miss. A swing and a miss. There we go.
Yeah, silent treatment. Once it procs that that two stealth, really starts going hard for you. Just kind of keeps you stealthed up. Oh yeah. Oh, now we're cooking, chat. I can feel this team is starting to cook. Scavenge what you can, and be off once more. Be off once more. Where am I off to? Where exactly are we going? Excuse me? <laughs> All right. Give me something good. Scouting? Do I care about scouting? Now nah, we're pretty scouted. We're pretty scouted. I do care about wheels, though. Wheels are definitely good for us. We've wasted enough time. Let's be off. If I go forward, fight, fight, nothing. Fight, cat. I like that. All roads lead to the mountain. To the holy mountain. Exactly, Tiny Toaster. Exactly, Maxwell. We're going to the mountain. I think this is one of the only regions you... I think... In, no, I think maybe not. I wish you could kind of see the mountain in the distance in these regions. Wow, quad zombies. Hastened quad zombies. We're about to get zombied out. Ah. Okay. Hey guys, look, we have clenching claws. <laughs> Getting that fun. Uh, he figured it out. He's like, you know what? Everybody else looking a little, a little rough for wear after all that. Maybe I shouldn't hit the big guy. Like, no, no, no. Hit the big guy. Hit me more. Yeah, sorry, itchy eye. Uh, who's going? That guy's going. No, he's not. I didn't even try to proc anything. How dare you, game? Leopard's just eating everything, like, nah. Only 11 damage. Oh, he has 8 light. What? Maybe I should have healed him. Oh, well. That's what Encore is for. For when I forget things. Yeah, that could have been better, but we'll take it. The dodge is nice. I said the dodge is nice, fucker. Whatever. <laughs> Fine. Big heal. Now, if we had a poet leper, he'd be healing himself for, like, full health, but alas, we do not. But I do have a bleed now, so there we go. That's better. Good job. What is he generating block from? Oh, he had withstand, withstand, right? Yeah. yeah. Straightforward. And if I forget that that generates block. I just use I just use chop too often when I'm fucking the leper. I'm just like I just need to chop things, slam down the holy blade of righteousness in the enemy, kill them, end them, remove them from existence. We got this. This team is doing real good now. Yeah, the crit token isn't lovely for us there, but. Um, it's combo, let's just do that. Spread the burn. 
Ow. Don't invade my species. I don't want that. Okay. Oh, so close. Unfortunate that she's not dead there. Get the kill with that. We can smoke bomb here. Should help us kind of deal with that repost a little bit. That should be in. Bro, through dodge plus and blind? Holy crap. You can invade my species for flirt. Flirt, yep. Yeah. Alright, this should be. There we go. Alright. Uh, we don't really need to encore here. Like, we could encore well and try to remove the corpses, but we can just do that anyway, so I'm not super worried about it. Plus, looks like the guy is going to be toast. So, let's go for the stab. Get him dead. Excellent. Well done. Good job, team. Well played. Love that for you. You guys are fantastic. Good. Everybody, a round of applause for this amazing team. In fact, I mean, it's actually doing quite well, so I, I really like, like all jokes aside. <laughs> The loathing abates. All right. Off to help First, some folks. Then the we're going to get some shit. Animals, and then we're going to drink some wine after hungry, fighting some people. Then we're going to wait. Uh, no, we're not going to fight them. We're going to fight these guys. Then we're going to fight that guy. Then we're going to go fight an exemplar. Because this team, man, comp this, the star of the chosen with exemplar, though, is scary. Because... It can just the fall immediately. Doesn't need prelude. Just just goes right into it. Just like that, ah, we're falling. Get the additional road healing here. Is it a necessity? No, it's nice though. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a barricade fight. It is not a barricade fight though. Wouldn't mind seeing a warlord. A warlord could definitely give us some value. Hello, it's Frank and Hank. Or Fred. Sorry, not Frank. Fred. Fred over here and then Hank over here. Everybody say hi to them. Stupendous. A brilliant conclusion. That's crit. Damn, I was hoping that would miss. Uh, did you? No, we, we're not even using them right now, so. Yeah, the additional road heal does come in clutch a lot of times. It just it just sets us up for success. Let's get rid of that. Are we gonna miss stun here? Miss? Thank you. Carsag, welcome on in. How's it going? Good to have you here. Hello, hello. Alright. Sorry, Hank. Moving on to Fred now. Or not. Okay, now I'm sorry, Hank. Now we can move on to Fred. Can you come over here, buddy, please? Thanks, I appreciate it. Or not, fine. Be difficult, I don't care. Fuck you. Fuck you and your crit skull toss. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. I know what lurks in the beyond, and it's a dead this guy. Oh, uh, just purge. Why try to kill the corpse when I can just remove it, right? Lots of fun over there. Lethality writ large. Fred has so much love in his eyes. Yeah, his dead, hollowed out eyes. Cut down these nightmares and blaze the trail to your redemption. Sorry, I have like a spot on my neck and I keep, you know, once you've noticed it, 
You're like, yeah, you can't stop. <laughs> like, I need to, I need to leave it alone. Okay, all right. We got an academics cash here. Hopefully, we get something good from this. We'll see. An impressive. I'm noticing the game's getting a little choppy right now. Um. So what I'm gonna do? This doesn't help us. Neither of these help us. I'm actually gonna I'm gonna switch to this screen quickly, and I'm going to. Um, well, it's I'm gonna not abandon the expedition. Don't do that. I'm gonna uh, leave the game and join back in. Uh, there's probably a memory leak somewhere or something. It's causing some issues. How reliable is Firestarter plus Anamnesis combo? Uh, reliable, probably not the best. Um, it's good if you can pull it off, but it requires a level of setup. Like you have to. You're probably going to have to try to do like an encore occultist into chaotic offering and then make sure that the runaway goes before that so that you can get the fire starter on before you do a Um, or another reliable way to get the tokens generating. Um, it's not the easiest thing to do for sure. Yeah, and Amnesis is hard to use. It's just weird to use it. If you can pull off some funky things of it, it's fun. Um, but it, it's it's hard. It's not it's not reliable. Fun, yes. Reliable, no. Yes. Losing whispers. All right. Um. What's this one? Vintage collection. Vintage collection will be good for us. We'll go that way. Ruts in the roadway. There is a barricade ahead. There is a barricade ahead. All right. It's a region fight. So, got some local enemies here. Yeah. Dirty. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that was a that was actually a really good move for them. This is her worst position, one of her worst positions to be in. The shuffle here, obviously a problem. Just to go before a cultist, Encore doesn't count as a turn for purpose of chaotic offering, so just, yeah, exactly, yeah. It's, it, it, it's a good point. Um, I guess technically, uh, well, it'd be harder to set up, but you could probably get more value out of the extra turns that, um, an unavoidable end. The extra turns that um, Duelist offers, but I, it, that requires a harder level of setup, in my opinion, to get the uh, to get the Instructus to like pop off that way. Whoop! Game didn't know what to do with it there. I don't know why it. Game's being funky right now. I'm also not on retail, so I, I probably should be on retail. Probably on me a little bit. Corpses, corpse clearing, very important in these these kinds of fights. Immobilize here is very nice. Thank you. And 65% chance to crit, and we didn't. Shame. There we go. Suffering begins. Yeah, 50 health on this guy is no joke. We were able to take care of that fight pretty effectively, but it can be pretty scary when you have uh, sturdy, sturdy late. Like, Lady's already, like, tanky enough to be a bit of a problem. Definitely can lead you to some very uncomfortable situations when you got all that going on. Uh, this holy water is going to be really good for us as well, actually. It's gonna be very good against the exemplar, but we gotta get past the baby first. I say gotta get past the baby first, but like, we don't have to, but I'm, I want to. It worked an Nemesis into something more thematic for a cultist. It's just a stolen hound Terry. I mean, yeah, stolen hound Terry, I suppose. But it's not stolen until the, um, until we get the that person in the game, right? Like if we don't have, 
An unexpected find. If we don't have the Houndmaster, it's really it's it's unique to him. Um but yeah, I mean, I Myriad options require careful deliberation. Which flame are we on, sir? Uh, Daco, we are on the Star of the Chosen. Welcome on in. How's it going? So yeah, I, I don't know. Ugh. I do. I. I. Uh, I'm hoping that when they rework him, it that he gets no some indeed. stuff that helps with his. Like an assist is definitely one of those abilities that he suffers from it just being like a button that people don't click like they really worked in like fixed malediction like malediction while it's still something you don't click very often if you want to build around it it's really doable now which is good like that's how it should be um If we roll a 17 here, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> On to the next. How fucking funny would that be? If we rolled one Agony. we rolled 17 By damage and it lived. Through all of his health, shit. Yeah, we're really not getting the um the heals that I want with that. Which is interesting. Entire of extra setup, yeah. Yeah, I I I try to avoid comparing it to Hounds Harry because again, it doesn't exist in this game, right? I mean, I guess unless you count the gander. <laughs> um, rank three. I doubt it would be too broken. I don't think. I don't think it's. Yeah, I don't think it would be too broken. I, I know they're really hesitant when it comes to cleaves because cleaves can no very quickly become overpowered, especially if you're like a knowledgeable player and you know how to like leverage like token generation and removal and things like that. You can get some really interesting plays with cleave abilities, and I get it. But I think it it wouldn't be too difficult appliance to arms. to make it work well. This needs a better setup, I think, more than anything. Abandoned or forgotten. It is but we'll see what now. they do with it. All right, maybe fight coming up. Let's think about what we got going on here. Bash, absolutely. I think overall this is fine. We can hit the back and the front depending on where we're at. The concern is definitely going to be with like, hey, the, you know, the the small, the, the biggest concern is going to be if the small meat gets the triple taunt, right? That's going to be my main concern. Satisfying his other unchecked power skills. Agreed. Absolutely, Maxwell. Yeah, I think. And you kind of have to be on Aspirin for it to even really do enough damage or bleed to be do you hear the relevant, cries? you know? And I think that's that's what it really suffers from. Yeah, they can resist the debuff of Malediction, but you can pretty much set it up where it's very difficult for that to be the case. Um... But I think overall, Malediction feels okay. I mean, if it when it lands, it lands hard, and it it causes a lot of problems to the enemy. Sit right with me for some reason. I don't mind the bleed, you know? I just, I don't know, it just feels weird. It just, it overall just feels like a weird ability. Agony by accumulation. Goodbye. Remove yourself from A my presence. Development. But he's bleeding my team all the time, yeah. How dare you bleed somebody besides myself? Come on, Bonnie, you need to dodge things. 
I didn't take you as a pseudo survivor for no reason. Also surprised she's not rolled any positive quirks besides that. Interesting. Purge would have been a good call there instead of uh, chop. Aspirant, and you have to use rank two occultist to use it and bend your whole team comp around making that work. Yeah, I mean, you just have to spend a lot of setup. A lot of your time consciously setting it up where I feel like there's just a lot of other options that like, you know, you can play. And that, that's that's where abilities like that suffer. It's like, you know, sometimes big, big abilities like that, the setup doesn't work out and that's fine. But I need it to work often enough for me to get the value out of it. All right, please don't give me double lady or something. Again, I really just want to actually fight this fucking child. It's crying. It's annoying me. This is fine. Sturdy is annoying, but this is fine. Did she bleed herself? What? Ble wow. Oh, it went through. All right. Okay. Yeah. I forgot she was pulsing heart. Gonna need you to dodge some stuff. Really gonna need you to dodge some stuff, Bonnie. Bonnie, come on, girl. Like, one thing would have been fantastic. I mean, that's not really a dodge, but like, we'll take it, you know? Uh, I should have gone for something else there. You know what? That one bleed, it's a free heal for us. Plus dots to enemies and it happens to be a cleave. I don't know if it's random per se, but like, yeah, maybe it, maybe it's a bit of an afterthought. I feel like tokens would be maybe a better play for that. Like having it be like a cleave, like uh, apply vulnerable or something feels maybe more thematic than the bleed. But, you know, it could also do something different on each of his paths. I feel like that would be a one of like if they're gonna do that with him, could be a good ability that to do that with. Power is linked to Shambler, also valid, right? And I mean, for me, I like I don't think it's that unthematic for it. I think it just it's odd that you're right. He does only have like one cleave ability, it could be or one bleed ability. But he bleeds your heroes, so maybe it's thematic that way. There's I don't no know. I'm just I'm just time. talking here. To resist on the I'm also should be paying attention to what I'm doing right of trust a petty hindrance it's malediction erasure it's true he does have other abilities but it's kind of an indirect one right Corpses before he decides to eat one. Good miss. to get leprosy, bro. I mean, is it ever... What did he get that? Hypochondriac. So that 10% is going to be like 50%. This guy has 66 health. What a... I don't rank four. It's either Echoing March, Mezzo, or Anamnesis. Uh, yeah. You can apply it with uh, a rank four person hitting into a repost yellow hand. There you go. Yeah, it's really hard to get bleed on rank four. But it's definitely... Bleed teams have definitely come a long way. I just dropped this, man. Like, really? Yeah, boring. Boring, boring, boring. Hit of home is okay. Everything else is dull. We'll go for it. 
born to a corpulent and that is exactly what we were worried about happening a ravenous avatar of degeneracy no um I really needed Leper to go first. Um. Before the big meat. I have to hope that he resists it. He's likely to. I guess it doesn't matter anymore that the taunt is gone, so. Like, do we want to kill it? Yeah, that sets us up kind of badly for this, but whatever. Generally wouldn't kill the, the small meat, but we had to set up for it. DD2 trivia game during his runs. There's a lot of information I do not know about the game. It w I would be curious to see what things I could learn from it. For sure. Unfortunate. Really fucking unfortunate. Maybe on the start of the fight, yeah, that'll do it. I don't know what I was thinking. I've done dumb stuff like that before. How, bro? Is there a way I can counter this? Who has who has holy water? Jester does. Jester's going first. Okay, we can. Worked out because my frontline was beefy with bleed resist. Fortunately, yeah, that definitely helps. Gotta do more damage than that, big guy. is the key. Hey, big guy. Yep. Hold fast. For who knows what lurks nice. in the beyond. Ah, he said, nah, I don't want that stress. There we go. The only one that generates that old corpse gloom, still. A spark. I don't need like any of this, do I? Um, I wish that it would just like auto convert them together. Alex, how's it going? Two six nine hits in that fight? Hell yeah, absolute fucking Chad. What a true Chad. Let's check my combat items. I'll something on here. Drop these candles. Like that. Don't need that. 
inventory slots. I mean, it doesn't that doesn't help us at all. Drop that and take him at home and see if we can find a use for it. I mean, does it work on somebody better than what we have? Um. Yeah. Nice. Nice. The loathing abates. All right, exemplar fight coming up. Ah, uh, man, I'm really not in like amazing condition for an exemplar fight, but something we're gonna have to deal with, huh? So, the Jester is not the quickest. I'm actually gonna switch this with Jester. The reason being is that I want to be able to try and remove the combo immediately. The combo and the taunt is gonna be something we wanna remove immediately. If we can go before the exemplar and just clear that with the holy water, is gonna be good for us. This is an exemplar, right? Yeah, it is an exemplar. All right. Made manifest. Wow. What a bad speed. What? Wow. She rolled. She must have rolled like a one. Kind of unfortunate. Um. It's fine. Jester kind of makes up for it. Play Hollow Knight during Valentine's Day. I didn't do it. Oh. Okay. Play some Hollow Knight now. It's basically the same thing. Uh, this only. I don't need the combo right now. It's fine. The fiend's strength dwindles. Nope. You need that 69 hit. So that's half his health in one go. This road cannot be walked alone. Stand. <laughs> Dude's gonna melt down. That's okay. No, he won't. Damn it. Yes, he will. I think. I don't know. Okay, that works out very well for us. That was a good days. No meltdown for us. Slows. Sanity returns. Hmm. Stun him. Oh. Goodbye. Take care of fight though. It, it it does. It is. It is a very bad porch for this fight. You have to be prepared for it. That's why we that's why we really wanted that holy water off the bat so we could at least kind of control the first uh, taunt into us. Man, jealous whisper. Yeah. He's gonna be moving plenty. Jealous whisper works better for us there. We probably get more value out of her being like stealth than we do with this pulsing heart thing going on now. Um. Yeah, that was that was a good fight. That was that was a good example of being prepared for. The Exemplar is always a fight that I think you just have to be prepared for. Like, if you're prepared for the Exemplar fight, you set yourself up for a really good, really good situation. Does he need it? Yeah. I mean, Hint of Home is a nice. This is a guaranteed benefit, though. You know? 
Foreman's Grog in the final fight actually goes really hard. Better than Warlord. Yeah, Warlord really eats that fucking, uh, eats that combo up for breakfast, dinner, lunch. Hell yeah. All right. That was good. That was a, that was a good little bit of a run getting there. All right, everybody. As is our the tradition here. Lit. The table is set. What do we get? The Selfish, curmudgeon. Yeah. How are relationships looking? Curious nag. And yeah, we're okay. We have one that's low. Anyway, all right. We're going to go ahead and I haven't gotten the game giveaway up yet. I take God. Gosh, damn. You're too good at modding. All right. Game giveaway is open. We're going to do a random Steam key giveaway. Anybody is welcome to join. Just have to be following the channel. It's my way of saying thank you for everybody hanging out here and being a part of this. Hi, my love. Hi. How are you? What you been doing? Oh, oh, once I'm done here, I'll clean up and are you in a stream after this. You're done. Okie dokie. Well, let me, well, I'll let you know when I'm finishing up so I can write into you if you want. All right. Um, all right. Eat some food. Steak may have been a better option, honestly, but oh, well. There you go. Get on in for that random game giveaway. Money and Zen. Damn it. Probably honestly shouldn't have done that. Probably had a better place to put that. Bate and candy maybe can get a two. Nah, oh well. Ripperoni and cheese. August, how's it going? Welcome on in. Alright, just sort of a bunch of random fair, stuff around here. But fairly priced. Yep. Amazing. That was that was a good find. Um We've already eaten. Grab another triage kit. Stack that on there. Fortress says Star of the Chosen. Something to ease the rigors of the road. of comfort on the road to damnation. What do you get from that? Cultophobic. Yeah. Damn. No such luck. All right. Is the giveaway open? It is. All right. Just making sure. All right. Yeah. Giveaway is open. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, we also had uh we had shutter decency. I could have used that Learn against Exemplar. Didn't think about that. That you may stand just a little taller at the uh, I'm gonna do some chores after streaming, yeah. And then get some food. And then uh, we might be able to play a uh, play a little bit later. Depends on your day. Uh it's the one with a random combo token, right? Yes. It also gives three taunt tokens and then um you get additional crit and more damage taken for uh, yourself, I think it is, and enemies deal more damage, or uh, yeah, depending on combo tokens. I have to take a look at the torch one sec. Time to make Lasagna. Lasagna! All right. Uh... Solemnity, let's go for that. Let's go for withstands. 
weakening curse value, get some sack stab value, demon's bullshit. All right, that's good. All right, let's go for it. Let's let's fight the mountain. This is the journey, Act Five boss. Once see again. how we do. Only positive relationships here. Stress for additional stress reduction, some stress reduction there. We're not using burning stars. Chop giving strength is nice though. We're gonna be using chop a lot, so can't imagine that's a bad thing. At All those little the cutscenes they have. Very cool. Temple of failure and little like. Mm. Um, all right, there's a game giveaway going on for anybody who would like it. Uh, so exclamation enter for that chance. If you're watching this video on YouTube, thanks for watching to this point. Uh, if you've made it this far, you should subscribe to the channel if you're not already. And uh, this is spoilers, so if you haven't seen the final fight and the final cutscenes, uh, it will be here. So if you don't want to see those, make sure that you head on out. Um, we've got a few fights before we get to that point, though, but there will be a few cutscenes as well. So Here at the Nexus of Ruin. Loathing poured forth from the darkest recesses of your mind. Your failures took form, and the world bowed in honor of your great wretchedness. I love this the stain of your idea they had for the cutscenes. I think it's very cool. Dimension. I wish that I could see you were replay the, you the main lore ones, though. Down the long road of your oh, we get some healing items there. Very nice. Yourself away. That's pretty good, actually. So that goes for the final fight. Having additional healing items for the final fight is really nice because the final fight is a slog. It's it's like you know twenty plus rounds at times. You know. Go ahead and get the blind here for them. Yeah, the taunt here isn't terrible. Um. Okay. That's funny that it can do that. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. Alright, that was a that was a very slow start for us. Um going to echo march here though. That works plenty well in our favor. Obviously we want to stop the uh exaltations and stuff from happening, so. Um you know what? Let's just line up a vulnerability hex, and we should be able to kill him with a, a hit here. Another 69 just to Let us hope keep to things going. Quickly. All right, so we're going to put damage here now. Uh, I'm going to put a weakening curse over here, though. Just because Sundering Steel and, and wait, you know, all that stuff, it, it hurts. Wow, uh, look at all that stress we've accumulated here. Crazy. We do have... It may be able to get a worship off, but that's fine in all honesty. The only time that really hurts us is if we've taken the time to put a lot of damage into him. Um... Only 15 damage. The damage range on Leper is really what makes him strong and weak, right? That huge amount of damage just to kind of see it all this one go to like a 15 or something. It's like, to. wow. It's not much point in doing that. Um, yeah, a little hard fly. It's not doing anything for us, but honestly, yeah, it, it, that burn was just going to get cured anyway, so doesn't do anything for us. Uh, let's line up a vulnerability hex. Enemies in the front ranks move backwards. I would I would find that pretty fun if there was a way for him to do, like if Intermezzo could work that way, like where they made it so that front two ranks it moves them backwards and back two ranks it moves them forwards. That kind of disruption and like that fluidity of disruption would be really funky. I would love it. Yeah, 10 damage there. Crazy, right? The slow suffering begins. Man. Lepers hit him three times and knock on him to the death store. That's nutty. Really not the heal I was hoping for there either. Good miss though. Sundering Steel's gonna hurt here. A master stroke. Yeah, that burn is very helpful. Go ahead and keep our stress down here. A 
that block token very helpful there. Cauterize is also getting the benefit of the uh, the additional healing given, so that's definitely coming in helpful for us. We're going to want to try to save Cauterize as much as we can in the final fight, though. There we go. That's the leper we know and love. There's a play here to maybe not kill him immediately, but he's gonna get off another Sundering Steel, and that potentially could just, like, to get a Stress Heal, right? So, I think we just go for this. <clears throat> we are the flame, burning brightly for all the world to see. He has a heck and chonk, indeed. I'm gonna take these Shredded Decencies. Actually gonna be fairly helpful. We got eight there, wow, that's crazy. And stack that to four. All right, next cutscene will happen after this fight. We want to get through this without too much issue. Any benefits here? No, hook up. Double Evangelist, a lot of bleed, a lot of stress, a lot of blind, a lot of things. Ignoring the blind is obnoxious. Thankfully, we're immobilized here, which is awesome. Punching Claw is doing good work here. One move by enemy. Um, yeah, only 30, but at the end of the day, he's, there's not many enemies that are going to move him. There is comfort you know? in company. So, I'm not super worried about it. Here. Remove that crit token. Skill shuffles. He does have a skill that shuffles, but I don't think it's. I don't really think it's see it being that much of an issue for us. The positive token generation is generally going to be better for us. Bench, how you doing? Right into the person with the stress resist to deal with it, though. Fantastic. This road Lovely. Be walked alone. Steady yourself. Yeah, and Blox just said that it's getting the blight there as well, but it is what it is. Go ahead and I'm actually gonna blind the big guy. The better benefit for us, in all honesty. And then we can. So, yeah. I'm not getting much value out of Solemnity there. Was a smart butt on his butt? It was a smart butt on his butt. Best butt that he probably could have done. Impeccably timed. Yeah, Tropics. When he actually uses in Tropic Star and gets value out of it, it's pretty good. God, I love the animation on Tropic Star. They're like the whole like black hole kind of animation. It's so good. Straightforward and effective. <laughs> Get our stress down. Just trying to get into this fight with the best conditions possible. Nice respectful prop there. And tropic butt. It's my favorite kind of butt. A brilliant conclusion. Cooperation is the key. Awesome. Well done there. Um, unless this... That's 60% chance to crit. Ah. 
Like, if it crits, it would actually do enough damage to put in the death door. Fortunately, he's going to get another hollow vessel here. Uh, okay. We're a little bit higher on stress than I wish we were at this point, but we'll be alright. Heal some there. No? Okay. All right, final fight time. Again, we do have a game giveaway going on, everybody, for a random Steam key or a random Steam game. So if you'd like the chance to win something, now's your time to get on in on that. Oh, I, th I thought we discarded that for a second. I was like, oh, that's crappy. All right. Final fight. Again, this is the uh, end game boss, so end cutscene. So if you don't want spoilers, I'd highly recommend looking away. Appreciate y'all being here this long. You were golden, hanging out for the stream really means the world to me. Seriously, the support, potential. whether it's subs or bits Finally, or don't, friend, whatever, it really helps out. That potential um, and I, I appreciate it, it to thoroughly. From your weakness, meet your derelictions with blazing defiance. The equation must be balanced. Let's go balance that equation, y'all. All right. Wow, look at those hip bones. Got some serious hip dips going on there. Upon your great achievement, the sum total of your failings. Your body of work. Your body of work. Such a cool design, man. The carious gut of the coward, ripe with toxic pusillanimity. Confers advantage. Yeah. Get our stress down and get ourselves in a good spot here. There's big old fat chunks of damage. That's what we're doing here. Good crit. We moved into that catabolize and removed our blight, so that way the jester wouldn't get hit by it. Very good. Unfortunate. Combo's good, though. We're gonna move our jester here. Nice. Excellent hits. Good man. I can't see what the damage is, but that crit. Who's only poison like how Runaway has cauterized? No. Um, mm, actually, there is kind of, but it, so it's a self heal. It's a grave robber. One of the grave robbers new absent can heal light unupgraded and then all dots when upgraded, but it's only a self heal. Pierces the veil of reality. Agony by 
accumulation. Yep. We're going got punched. Still not enough to get like that damage threshold for that ability is kind of gnarly when you think about it it's a lot of like stuff you have to set up that's still a lot of damage we have to do just to get that still positive tokens yeah you definitely have to be cognizant of um your token generation on this phase and that's kind of the point of it it's to stop you from going out going all out and generating like crazy crazy amounts of tokens Once when I used meditation on my aggressive Sahara, yeah, I I threw when I did um, I just kept using take aim on this fight in this phase, e even though I knew it was bad. I kept doing it. And I was like, why am I? I gotta stop doing this, man. It's just causing me problems. up out of your usual yeah i don't i don't dislike that he has that mechanic if you play if you know to play around it you you know how to deal with it mm. through the blind and the dodge that's always a bad feeling it's him getting immobilized like isn't the worst thing though he can't generate positive tokens but he also can't be given negative ones by being moved so steady yourself okay oh please don't okay. Turning his health bar to it, it lets him do a huge, uh, really, really big hit. He does like Haymaker instead of Wild Haymaker, and it hits fucking hard. I think that's what it's called. Let me double check. Uh, it's, is it Trammel? Oh, it's Haymaker. Yeah. If he does Haymaker, like it like stuns and does a shit ton of damage. Yeah, it's it's not a good time for anybody involved. Some reason I thought if you hit that trigger before Haymaker, it would delay it. No, it, he just can't do it unless he has. Um, yeah, he just can't do it if if you remove that threshold. So. Cultist, good. A brilliant conclusion. I didn't really think about how I'm gonna move things in this fight. Echoing March is gonna be really helpful for us. Uh, some you'll see that uh, I like the um, the lungs in fate in the second act fight. He gets a little like bar, and if you don't get past that bar in his health. Um, he can do a really powerful attack. Yeah, we kind of set Occultus up for success, though. We have four healing items on our stagecoach with uh, Pygmy Pliskin, and he's a Ritualist. So he's he's basically made to do that. He went Lungs. Yeah, back to boss. But no, I meant, I meant it in this fight. 
this in that second phase it has something similar to the lungs like that that does that uh if you don't get past that threshold it'll he'll do a really powerful attack It's smart. I, I do think it targets, uh, like, putting that on him, like... Transform into a boss. How dare they? Ugh. Oh. Annoying. Annoying, but it is what it is. We can deal with the stress pretty easily. Fuck it out. That's lucky. Probably can't survive the fall. Be funny if that's how it works. Cooperation is the key. Honestly, I find it crazy that you can stun this boss, but okay. Who's really important to us right now? Try it, Leopard. Oh. Sorry, bud. Measure out your violence and apply it judiciously. Shelby is literally so pretty. Hold Ow. For who knows what lurks in the beyond. That was a chat thing, it is, yeah. My bot my bot's all simp for Shelby. It must be purged. Guy in the chair. Uh 1099. Normally he only has a thousand. We unfortunately gave him additional health. That's what happens when you have too many tokens. Just seen that one coming. Oh, but we have Footman's Grog. <laughs> right, Footman's Grog helping out there. Bravo. Good. That's a really good amount of damage on him. Yeah. You don't have to do that amount of damage. I don't think I've ever actually seen anybody try to do it. I'm sure somebody has done it where they've just tried to kill the boss, like, only doing... Fiz like just damage to the boss. It'd be interesting to see how difficult that is to do. Maybe we'll try that one time. We'd have to have a really good team though, like very survivable. RNG would have to be completely in our favor. Uh, no, boss is not resistant to dots. You can dot him, but I think he is fairly resistant. He has 60% resist. I'm sure, I'm sure it's possible, yeah. Ugh, annoying. Really not what I want to see for a heal. I'm kind of taking this at a snail's pace for this. Uh, my concern is that he's going to Samsara immediately, but what can I do? No, I'm going for futility. It's fine. Honestly, this is a fine time to use that. Sure. Ow. 
It's technically dead this round, but I'm assuming he's going to summon another one. But that still sets us up pretty well. I'm not super mad about it. Yeah. We just have to kill this one now. That one's dead. Can we stop doing futility into the same hero every fucking time? Jesus Christ, you have other enemies you can hit. A breakthrough. Ugh. Annoying, and I can't do melee attacks either. Mother, just get a crit heal. Just keeps pushing us in the like. He's they're playing smart, which is annoying. There we go. That's fine. Annoying, but fine. What's unfortunate about that is that took our combo. Well done. Yep. So we'll spread the burn. There we go. Alright, so he's dead. Great. Fantastic. Love that for us. Um Bash here, lock him into place. Oh bugger. Ah, oh, come off it, dude. Ah, oh, I fucking hate this fight sometimes, man. It's so annoying. I didn't think we he had Samsara up. Honestly. Game's just being smart with its uh This road cannot yeah. be walked alone. There we go, finally. Alright, um... Cultus has a strength token, let's just take that. Forgot the Shambler spawns in the back. It's gonna be a bit of a pain point for us. We may likely melt down here, which is unfortunate, but... Yeah. That's actually really unfortunate for us. Um, hopefully we resolute. We could die here. Yeah. Find this the biggest ordeal it, it's just yeah it's a lot of time to mess up and honestly i'm like this fight generally kind of it drains me very quickly you know i'm like ugh. like oh man i'm tired <laughs> Yeah, it's a slog of a fight. Like, that's a good thing in a lot of ways. Like, it's definitely a culmination of a lot of things, right? Um, I was trying to get the blind on him, but he's, he's pretty resistant to it. There we go. Game's too smart sometimes, man. It knows what it's doing. Facing their failures. Yeah, I mean, you just have to prepare them for it, right? Like, you you know what's going to happen if you've beaten this or played this fight once or twice. You just have to know what to do, like, how to deal with it. Every fight, have to know. It makes the fight a lot easier if you do, though, Toaster. Melee block for had to heal. Yeah. Foolishly seeking fortune and in goldenness. In this domain Thank you much for the follow up, man. Appreciate you being here isn't almost always a pain. I mean, again, it's just a matter of knowing that that's something you have to do. 
if you set her up with with either bash or whatever you can you can usually oh that was a misplay i just misclicked there you can usually do it pretty well you just have to know you have to prepare like if i'm gonna use bash like i need to have like a way to pull her person forward if they get moved or whatever the case is like relief comes rarely in these times savor it in this phase i am ah no i i like it personally i i enjoy the the counterplay Encore goes really well here. Hopefully we can do the five damage. Should be able to. There we go. Can summon Shamblin now? No. It's it's uh the occultist memory. The two turns from the specters. Yeah. Yeah. It can definitely I mean it can definitely screw you over, right? This fight just becomes very long. Right now my biggest issue is this phase, this part of it. Is the Samsara. We really struggle with getting the the, the kills on these guys, effectively. That doesn't help us. <sighs> yeah, the range lock doing its thing. That's not true. Like, you can you can move and debuff the specters with all your other heroes, right? So you just need to know that and be like, hey, if my... First of all, the specters will generally spawn in the right location, right? If you have, a, like, for Lever, his specter will always spawn up front. Um, but if for some reason the specter gets moved back here, you need you can have a jester pull them, you can have a cultist pull them, um, right? Like there's there's options to, to deal with the movement. But like getting caught without your attack because of shackles, like yeah, that that ends up causing the bigger problems. So that's why generally I'll try to move. Like a cultist is really helpful at pulling things, so I try to get his out of the way early so I can deal with it. But you can, you can, you just can't damage the specters. You can debuff them. Technically, you can burn them with control burn. I don't know why that's a thing still, but you can. Just funny. All right, there's seven burn there. It's helpful. Missions by themselves. Yeah, they do that as well. Yeah. Speed bot's amazing. Yeah, we love a good bit of speed butting. All right now, the heal is more important to me. Mm, these things are gonna get a worship off. It's not fun. Yeah, this is definitely the weakest phase for me. Is this part? We got rid of that one. That's amazing for us. Good hope for Brock. In Tears in particular. Yeah, some of them are, are definitely harder than others for sure. Each other. I agree. I'm hoping I can kill this before. We should be able to. Okay. A breakthrough. Leopard doesn't have any locks, so. Okay, who do we want next? Um. Okay. Spawn in the right spot too, which is great. The fire should have taken you, right? Except that you're the one who murdered them, not her, you know? Just saying. Really good, uh, Virtuoso. Oh, we, uh, it must have expired, maybe? I don't know. Okay. What? True. She's the reason that her family's dead. All right, that's that dead, pretty much. Two turns done. I meant the runaway. Yeah, 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 yeah the runaway. Uh, she killed her. She killed her adopted family by burning them to death. I mean, it was an accident, but like, and yeah, she's saying like, ah, oh, I should have taken her instead. Nah, I mean, it should have, but like, you're, it's kind of your fault, lady. I'm mean, just saying. Is gone. This you will burn me no longer. Echo. Lenity. 
face. Okay. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Just Jester left. Half hour cutscene fight. Can definitely screw you over this fight. I've, I've had this fight kill me more often. Well, not more often than not, but it's killed me more than I care to let it have done. Oh, okay. Forced in. Oh, taunt. Okay. I was like, wait, what? I got rid of the padlock. Yeah, it's the. Occultist does kind of like trivialize a lot of this fight with the heals that he can do. Man, even with a vulnerable token, that's all you can do, buddy? Yeesh. Kind of in a scary spot here. I don't really have a way of killing the back one right now. I say as I kill it. Really? You crit on him, of all people? Ugh. When's Jester's turn? Jester's next. Okay. large. Yeah, it gets him out of the bad spots. That's good. Don't some sorrow, please. Cap the mess. That's fine. I really need to kill this fucking guy. That was gonna be enough to kill him, but then he did that. I can't do frickin' melee damage right now. Oh my god. Alright, there we go. Thank you. Diddle little little Ready for the music? Nah, you missed. Real close. Do -do 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 -do. Lost worship token do honestly i don't know if I've, I've only seen it once i think i can't it, it does some like cleave attack or something it's really fucking annoying they've uh i don't know if they have i think the i think control burn actually still can do damage can burn the specters i'm unsure though they may have fixed that well that's not fun Self-reliance is a rare and wonderful thing. I, I don't know if they have changed it or not. I'm, not, I'm unsure. Shield trinket, I think, makes sense that it does damage. The only person that's going to attack is the person that 
you know, uh, there's a meltdown. It's only gonna attack the one person, right? So, oh, do we have Virtuoso? Oh my god, what a fucking godsend. Amazing. Um... Yeah, Al, Al is ca hard carrying right now. I just need to... Oh my god. Bro, do I get a turn? Fuck off. I can't do melee damage. Amazing. Love that for us. Cool. Small acts that drive back the darkness. Thank you. Goodness gracious me. The patient is at hand. Unmake this illusion. Alright, GG. To destroy the thing is to destroy yourself. But the world will spring anew from the memory you kept of it. I'm going to be done in a couple minutes. Love. Your confession is complete. She's, she's in the zone right now. Who's she fighting? Forgive Show me. yourself. What? I'm going to be done in a few minutes. Humanity is a weak <laughs> hypothesis after all. Path of Pain Gaming. Uh, GG's. All right, let's do the game giveaway in a minute. Um, if you guys have not gotten in, exclamation enter for a chance to get in for the game giveaway. Thanks for hanging out, Kegs. I appreciate it. All right. Mountains of our mistakes, monsters of our misdeeds. We slip and I need to add the um duelist to this. I actually kind of like Crusader being added the way he is in this, because I think before it was a teaser, and now I think it's kind of the idea that he, like, took his helmet off and went back to, like, his old life or something, and he just kind of left. He was like, I'm done. I'm out. Um, so I, I like that, but I... Yeah, Flag's not in either. I don't know if it's because he just doesn't get redemption. I don't think the Flag gets redemption. I think he just, like... I think he just goes on being him, you know. The Odyssey strengthens you. Just kind of either dies or just like give like that's just it, you know. His redemption is just giving into death, right? I think that's kind of his whole story, right? Is like his his redemption is just the end. But I I like Duelist being in there. I think the Crusader's helmet actually fits. Um, Damien canonically dies. They've never they've never confirmed that oh i mean yeah he might actually canonically die uh all right um let's do the giveaway right exclamation enter for a chance to get in a couple more seconds if we want a chance dual ascending speed if you i think hers is like giving up on trying to like basically die in combat right i think for her it would just be finding that she can find satisfaction in life without it being through the thrill of like finding a a person to take her life in combat Stop striving for perfection. Best and worst class in DD2. Uh, best is subjective. It's probably between like flag and mana arms. Worst is probably Vestal. All right, let's do the giveaway. And close giveaway, we're gonna pick a winner. And the winner is Vander Wardart. Hi, right, Vander. I will shoot you a DM in the next couple days. Keep an eye out for it on Twitch, please. More arrive. Foolishly thank you very much for that follow, whoever that is. Glory. Hector, thank you for the in follow. This I appreciate domain it. Of the damned. Ward art. All right. GG's. GG's. All right, let's go. We're going to go raid Shlebi. You don't know who Shlebi is or my secret skill. Uh, it is, she is my girlfriend, and she plays Hollow Knight. And she speedruns it, and she's epic. And she's super cute, and you should go check her out. If you like speedrunning, you like Hollow Knight, uh, she's definitely somebody you should be checking out. Uh, I appreciate y'all being here. We're gonna go get the raid going. Go say hi. Um, you're basically just going across the room. You're going right over there. Right there. That's where you're going. So you're not going too far. Um, I appreciate you being here. This is Raid Message. There's a Raid Message if you'd like to. Uh, you're your masters on Hollow Knight? Well, you got a great place to go over and, uh, and watch some epic Hollow Knight gaming. 
Um, thanks all for being here. I do appreciate it. I'll be live again tomorrow morning with more Darkest Onion 2. Uh, if you're watching this video on YouTube, thanks for watching the whole video. If you made it this far, uh, subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all later. Bye-bye.